can do for my sister, now she's no more, is to take all I do. She seems to... I seem to be the only thing she has. Hey, 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 hey. I think I am, I am going to stop you right there. I will stop you there and remind you that this old lady you are talking about is my late brother's daughter. But that singular introduction alone, you need to know that she is my daughter. Her father died three years ago and now she has lost the mother. And that is why I am here. Be your mind careful, Nana. I need to take her to the city to take care of her. She, she needs to be loved. You know, I will take care of all her needs. Do you have a problem with that? No, I know. I don't have a problem with that. But I have a problem when you start before me to say that you are the only one she has. That's a very wrong thing to say. Since her mother died, she has been living in this town and she has been living good. No, she has not been living good. She has been living all alone in her father's house. It's misery now. She's a young girl. She needs to be taken care of. I need to get her out of that misery. Get her to school. You know, just... Take good care of her. If I take her to the city, I will take care of all her needs. I will ensure she gets into the university. I mean, what else would you want for her? Fantastic. This is what you should have, you should have said from the onset. You know, on this particular assurance now that you will, have, you will take her to the city and allow her to continue with her university education, you have beaten me to it. You know, listen. This was exactly her father's dream for her. My brother wanted the daughter to study law and become a lawyer. Not just a lawyer, to become a very big lawyer in this country. And now I can see that dream materializing. Not just for her, but for the family. Yes. <laughs> and you have my, my permission. You can go and take her. Take her with you and if you need anything, don't hesitate to come. Whatever assistance that I can give, I will always give it. My house is always open. No problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really appreciate Hi. it. Is it good money? Oh, I think I get out of my bedroom. Is it good money? Hey, Deka. Hey, Deka. Hey, Deka. This is indeed so good. Ah, my brother will be so so happy wherever he is. That finally. That wonderful dream he has of his daughter is materializing. <clears throat> what is it? No. Doesn't mean you've lost your wand of decisiveness. Or you are just tolerating that woman because she's rich. Because she's rich? How much does she have? I don't, I don't, Agnes, where is this coming from? Oledo has no reason to go and live with her in the city. I had expected you to study your grant. Stand my grant and be doing what? I don't understand what you mean by studying your grant. But didn't you hear what the woman said? That she, she's going to assist her lady to enroll into the university. Possibly she will start to read law and then become a lawyer. That means that dream that my brother had for the daughter that she's going to be a very big lawyer in this country is on the verge of materializing. What kind of grant do you want me to stand again? To stand against it. And I'm poor. And you believed her. What should I believe? You just said it to say that the woman is rich. That means she can do what she said. Olama was the only woman married into this family that took me as a co-wife. And she was never in competition with anyone. Her daughter is my daughter as well. I don't know why death will never allow good people to live long. Hey, 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 please, uh, Agnes, can you just hold it? You can you just slow down? Can you just allow me to understand where you are coming from? You know, what, where, is the, where, where, where is this coming from? I know, what are you saying? What are you building up to? What is it? What I'm saying is that I had wanted Oledo to live here with me. Live here with you and be doing what here? Agnes, I know my financial stand. Right now, I cannot pay the school fees for somebody who is in the university. You know that. I want to know you. You don't have money. You cannot do with your money. So why should we encourage your lady to sit back here with us and be doing nothing when there is somebody who is willing to take her and help her go into the university? How can you, how can you be saying that? Huh? 
You don't want to move, and you don't want to leave the road for those that want to move? Is that how, how I trained you? Listen, wish that girl success. Come out of this your belief. Come out of this, this your, this your, this your backwardness. And every time you, you can never see anything good in, in somebody else. Come out of that shell and wish her success. Leave the rest to God. Beatrice lives in this kind of rich house and she never bothered to invite my mother and I. Hey, our lady, why are you standing there observing the house like a moron? Huh? I'm just admiring the beautiful house, that's all. Please, I didn't ask for your compliment. Get your bag out of the boot. Immediately. And for information, we don't speak Igbo around here. Hello? Yeah, I am back in town. I'll arrange everything tonight so tomorrow you get them. Okay then. Bye. Yeah. Yes. Who is she? <laughs> Who is she? Vivian. You don't know me again. Oledo. Can we go in peace? I'm literally. <laughs> Only you. You're welcome. Hello, mom. You're welcome. Hey. How's your home? Everybody's fine. You're welcome. Your house is very beautiful. <laughs> you. But you won't blame me. You are not looking kept at all. Enough of that. Alright? Enough of it. Mom, I'm sorry. But this is one of the reasons I hate going to the village. Look at how old it is looking. Oh my goodness. Hm. Vivian, can you just allow mom to say what she wants to say? She's the one that called for this meeting and not you. Okay. She's spoken so much already. Are we done? Can I go on? Alright. The reason I invited Olido here, of course you all know Olido is my late sister's only child. I decided to bring her to the city for a couple of reasons. One of them being that um, we all know that our ex-house help who just got married has left. She's not coming back anymore. So I brought Oledo here as a replacement. In the car while we were coming, I gathered that she could do a lot of things. I mean, it, there's practically anything she does not to cook. So she's going to replace our old cook. Hmm. Well, I don't have any problem with that. But first, she will have to go into the bathroom and wash herself over and over again before going into the kitchen to cook anything. Vivian, am I the one you are talking to like this? And in your village brain, you feel this is the same Vivian who used to come to the village. For your information, I am now a graduate of economics, working in my father's company as a financial controller. 
I am a boss. And a village girl like you should pick your words when you address someone like me. Alright? Let me show you to the kitchen. Get up, get up, get up. You have to be fast. Let's go. Hey, hey! And you? What do you think you're doing? Smoking in my house? How many times have I warned you to stop smoking here? Didn't you know that smoking leads you to your death? <clears throat> eh? Okay, I've heard. It's all about you, you hear it. Let this be the last time you smoke in my house. Do you, 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 do you understand what the, idiot, smoking in my house. I decided to bring her to the city for a couple of reasons. One of them being that um, we all know that our ex-house help who just got married has left. She's not coming back anymore. So I brought Oledo here as a replacement. In the car while we were coming, I gathered that she could do a lot of things. I mean, it, there's practically anything she does not. Is this why she brought me here? To be her house help and cook? She told my uncle, Ichi Omenka Fonaya, that I will enroll into the university. Why then is she seeing me as her perfect replacement for her married house help? I felt so humiliated. She made it appear as if I am nothing. That she's up here and I'm down here. Hmm. Oh, I, I tried to uh, explain myself, but everybody supported her. Mother, I feel so lonely and abandoned, honestly. They all abandoned you. The God did not abandon you. Oh, Mother, you have continued to tell me this. Eh? That I should not castigate or look down on God. Is it not obvious, Mother? God is the one who has finally abandoned us. Why would you say a thing like that, my daughter? Is it not obvious? Yeah, I don't. No, this thing we are living is a life. My father died before I could stand on my feet as a woman. We have been feeding from hand to mouth. Eh? And you are here telling me that... Mother, don't, 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 yeah, there's nothing you will tell me, it's just simple, God has abandoned us. And I tell you again, no matter what you face in this life, do not castigate God. Did you hear me? God has his own way of doing his things, and he does it in appropriate time. No matter what you face in life, do not castigate God. Do not even complain to mortals because they have nothing to offer. Always look up to God because He will always show that He is God. My mother, the woman of prayer, now I understand. some toiletries in your bathroom. It doesn't mean you don't know how to use them. I've been using the toiletries. Then 
Why are you still smelling? Does it mean your body odor is so deep into your blood that the sweet smelling soaps cannot wash it off? Well, I actually want to discuss something with you. In as much as you have changed towards me, but I still see you as my sweet cousin. And as a young woman like me, I know you understand me better. I'm talking about your body odor and you are changing the topic. Okay, what do you want to talk about? Your mother promised my uncle that I will go to school. But she has not done that. She's not doing anything about that. Rather, she converted me to a house girl. I do all the chores in this house. Wait a minute. Are you saying you don't want to do her chores? What qualification do you have to choose otherwise? My point exactly. I don't have any qualification. I want to have one. I want to go to school. Please, my dear, help me talk to your mother. Please. Mm. I will when my spirit leads me. But at the meantime, go and wash the clothes my mother left. Listen, the fabrics are very expensive. So do not use washing machine. Wash them manually. Looking like this. Um, I, I I washed it, ma. I washed it very clean, ma. You washed this thing. You washed this thing, right? What do you mean you washed it? And it's this dirty. You, you get this thing out of here. Sorry. Get out of here. I don't even know when you will start doing things right. Stupid girl. knocking on the door. Go and find out who it is. Let the person in. Hurry up! You're welcome, man. Yes. Whose voice am I hearing? Oh, Mine, of course. My friend, my friend. My good oh friend. Oh my God, you're back. <laughs> yes, I am. Good to see you. No catch you. No I know, right? You. I know. Uh -huh. I know. Uh -huh. I know. Uh -huh. I know. Uh -huh. Hey, please sit. Thank <laughs> you. You're welcome. Thank you woo, so much. Woo, woo. Ah, you are being really good. Thank you. You can say that again. Beatrice, <laughs> Beatrice. Yes. My very good friend. That's me. You can't do without house helps. Oledo. Oledo is my niece. Excuse me? Yeah, she's my niece. Your niece? Mm -hmm. And she's looking so unkempt. Please, 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 please don't look that way, Tonya. Eh, just forget it. Is that your problem? Forget it. So how was your trip to Dubai? Tell me about it. Like I shouldn't talk about the girl? Oh, by the way, how are your children? Um, well, that's, um, Kingsley and Fortunate. How are they doing? You really need to change. Truly. Initially, you never wanted any of your family members to get close to your children. And now this one is here, looking so unkempt. Mrs. Kennedy, I don't like people getting involved in my private life. You're prying and I don't like it. So just stop. All right? I asked after your children, you're not ready to answer. So, you, you want to know so much about my family. Mm -mm. Excuse me. It's not acceptable. 
Well, it's okay. My children are doing very good. Great. That's mm. good to hear. Oh, by the way, um, your children, Vivian and, um, Melvin. and Melvin, yes. Oh, Vivian stepped out. She'll soon be back. Melvin is back in school. I hope you're keeping an eye on him. I don't like that school at all. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with the school. Besides, there, there's no perfect school anywhere. And what did you bring for me from Dubai? I thought you had closed the case. Why are you reopening it? I've forgotten that sometimes my friend can be stubborn. Whatever. Father, I, I don't understand the meaning of this. That is a letter written in English language. My son, a U.S. trained medical doctor cannot claim that he doesn't understand English anymore. Father, that is not what I am talking about. It's just that this letter is officially appointing me the medical director oh. of the hospital. Thank God you understand that. You are now the medical director of the hospital. Uh, why, Father? I mean, how? You are still active in medical practice. You are the medical director. Uh, Father, I just got back four months ago. I'm still trying to cope with the medical practice in Nigeria. And, and, and yet, you, you're offering me... Oh, I, I don't... I, I just... I'm sorry, your breath. Uh, I know you can do it. Hmm? It has nothing to do with age. It has everything to do with zeal to work and commitment to duty. I will be a consultant and I will always come in whenever I'm needed. The entire responsibility of running the hospital is down on you. If you can work with the staff already available, then you retain them. If not, you get them fired and employ new ones for yourself. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, Father. Congratulations, son. Oh, that? Yes, that. I see Father's brief already. Mother, I am still very surprised. I mean, how could he make me the medical director of the hospital? Don't you think I'm too young for that? No, you're not. Well, your father in his wisdom knows you're capable. He told me about it and I supported him. I'm so proud of you, son. Ah, oh, thank you very much, mother. You're the best. Thank you. Well, there's something else I would like us to talk about. Um, okay, uh, I'm listening. It's something every parent would want for their children. You know you're not getting any younger. I'm worried and your father is too. Mother, I I understand where you're going to. Well, I do not want you to be worried. I'll get married soon. When are you introducing her to us? When I find her, I'll personally bring her to you. You mean you don't have anyone in mind yet? No. Well, since you do not have anyone in mind, I have someone who I know is good for you. Are you, are, you, are you kidding? Do I look like I'm joking? <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't understand. I am still trying to, to figure out how to practice as a medical doctor in Nigeria. And yet father came up with the BOOM! medical director of his hospital. I'm still trying to cope, still trying to understand. And here you are, seriously arranging a wife for me. Kingsley, I am not arranging a wife for you. I just told you that I know someone who is good for you. The most important thing there is for both of you to meet and see if you can work things out. <laughs> You're serious about this? Yes, I am. You're serious about this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, fine. If that will make 
So, when do we get to meet the girl in question? Very soon. I spoke with your father about it and then he liked the idea. Listen, son, if both of you meet and you feel it's not something you want to do, you can walk your separate ways. So, does the girl know about this? Her mother does. But I'm sure she must have informed her daughter. She is the daughter of my friend, Beatrice. Alright, mother. I am not going to argue with you. I'll do as you say. Oh, oh I'm blushing. <laughs> Thank you, son. <laughs> Good morning, Dr. Kingston. Good morning, you know, Sandra. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, sir. Yeah. Congratulations on your appointment as the medical director. Everyone in the hospital is indeed excited. That is something I am still trying to comprehend. Everyone is excited, but I am not. I'm still trying to cope with the medical practice here in Nigeria. And then my father came up with me being the medical director. That is huge. I am still surprised at my father, honestly. Do not hold it against your father. Your qualification speaks volume. I'm sure you will do well, sir. Uh, thank you very much, Sandra. You see, encouraging words like yours are all I need in times like this. Thank you. We are expecting you to move into your father's office. This place is not befitting for your new status. I mean... The medical director should be in the medical director's office. Um, well, I am comfortable here. Moreover, I still see my father as a medical director, so his office remains his office. I so, sir. Yeah, you are. Well, please, can I get a cup of coffee? Right here, sir. Alright, thank you very much. A lot of work. Everyone is excited. This is not happening. <laughs> okay. Hey, Mom. Hi, babes. You called. Uh huh. Oh, do you remember my friend, um, Antonia? Um. Oh, flashy Mrs. Kennedy. Who doesn't know her? <laughs> oh, you can say that again. Do you also know her son who just came back like six months ago? Well, I don't know him in person, but my friend who works as a nurse in their hospital just told me this evening that he is now the medical director of his father's hospital. <laughs> but why are we talking about him? Oh, uh, well, I was just wondering if, you know, both of you, if you could get married. You know. No, 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 just listen to this. An economist and a medical doctor. What a fantastic combo. <laughs> No, no, just think about it. <laughs> Mom, are you trying to arrange a husband for me? Oh, well, something like that. Uh, he's a nice guy. All right? And he's every woman's dream. I mean, think about it. You will make a good pair. Uh, Mom, I, I don't know. I don't know how this whole thing looks. Um... I mean, I don't even know this guy. He is not a guy. He's a medical doctor. And all his patients that have been to see him all confirm that he is good. So what are we waiting for? I think you guys would make a good pair. We are not going to meet him. Because the last thing I will ever do is throw myself at any man. I am not Never. asking you to throw yourself at him. Anyway, he'll be visiting, so we get acquainted. Now, let, let me promise you something. If you both meet yourselves and you don't like each other, fine. We'll abort the whole process. But if you guys like each other, voila. 
Mm. A wedding is on the way. <laughs> All right, Mom. I'm not going to say anything for now until I meet this year, Almighty Kinsley. <laughs> Problem. Come on, let me get something from the room. Okay. That's all right. Ah, I need to do fresh review. Color combination and ooh, I like this. Ah. A long tail skirt. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Check who's at the door. Mister, I did not ask for an introduction. I said, who are you looking for? Young lady, I'm not quarreling with you. Well, I came to see Auntie Beatrice. Didn't you inform her before coming? Uh, well, too bad she's not in. I guess you can find your way out, can't you? What kind of person is this? Oh. I'm very sorry about that, sir. You can give me the message. I'll deliver to Auntie Beatrice when she comes back. I, I don't understand. Why was she hostile towards me? Is that how she talks to everyone who comes in here? So who is she? Her name is Vivian, my cousin. She gets angry anytime that things didn't go the way she expects. But not to worry, she, she's a good girl. Oh. Don't hold it against her. <laughs> so, she's the Vivian? Yes, she's Vivian, Auntie Beatrice's daughter. And who are you? Uh, my name is Olidu. I, I stay here with them. You stay here with them? Okay, um, I'll, I'll leave then. Have a nice day. Sir, please, uh, you have not introduced yourself. I am Kingsley Kennedy. So when she comes back, tell her that Kingsley Kennedy was here. Okay, sir. Have a nice day, sir. Yeah, have a nice day. Disappointed in you. I, I, I can't believe this. How many times have I warned you about this, your high handedness? How many times? Now see what it has cost you. Mom, I don't understand. Can you please calm down and tell me what the problem is? You never seem to understand. Well, Mrs. Kennedy called me and told me that her son Kinsley was yet to see you. And of course, in your usual manner, you were rude. You embarrassed the young man. A young man was here this afternoon. Could that person be Kinsley? Probably. Oh my goodness! How was I supposed to know he was the one? He was full of himself. Looking like one poorly paid civil servant. Oh really? Was that why you treated him the way you did? Because he was poorly dressed. He looked like a, a, a poorly paid civil servant. Do you sometimes listen to yourself when you talk? Mom, you can't blame me. I was waiting for a real man, not one poor looking thing. Shut up. Shut up! You know, sometimes I wonder if I actually give birth to you. It's obvious I have messed up. What can I do, Mom? No, we don't have to go. Let's finish what you started. Mom! I'm 
so sorry about what happened today. Honestly, I don't know her as that kind of a person. Probably she was not in her right frame of mind then. Mother, you don't have to apologize for anything. You don't know her more than she knows herself. She is not the kind of woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. Come on, son. You don't need to jump into that conclusion. Mother. Obviously, you're not saying what I am saying. Kingsley. What are you saying? Mother, Vivian is that kind of a person who doesn't care about others. Most especially her subject. She is rude. She doesn't care. She talks however she feels like. You need to see the way she spoke to me. Mom, she has so many attributes that I cannot cope with. You just met her today. And you know practically everything about her. How else do you want me to tell you about her? I met her today, she practically insulted me. She doesn't even know who I am. I walked into the house and she insulted me already. Just because I asked the whereabouts of her mother. Remember you told me it's not by force. That if I try it doesn't work out, I back out. Now I am backing out and I want that stand to remain. Wow. You already have an irrevocable stand. So, what are you going to do now? You asked me to go find someone, but I got there and saw the right one. Are you serious? Yes, I mean, you asked me to go look for one, but I got there and found the right one. Who? Her name is Olede. She stays with Auntie Beatrice. What? With all due respect, sir, I am a banker and not a desperate one. If it has gotten to the extent of you threatening me, be closing your account because I have refused to attend your illicit appointment. Then you can go ahead to close it. Stop calling me. Do not call me again. This conversation has been recorded. Any further move from you, I will use it against you. I saw her when I went there, but I'm wondering, why her? Do you know the implication? Well, I don't know of any, but whatever, whatever be the case, I am willing to stand by it. If you don't want Vivian, that's fine. But switching over to her cousin will pose a lot of problems for that innocent girl if Beatrice gets to know. Mother, Auntie Beatrice cannot make a choice of wife for me. I have to follow my heart, mother. You don't have to worry about that. So, why do you want to get me involved then? Mother, I want you to sleep over it. I'm sure by tomorrow morning you will come up with a perfect plan for it. Please, exempt me from anything that will cost me my friendship with Beatrice. If you don't want Vivian, no problem. Figure out how you want to go about it without getting me involved. All right, mother. Whatever be the case, I'll keep you updated. Um, Olido, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, mother. I'm good. I am stepping out for a meeting and I would like to eat vegetable soup when I come back. And please ensure you prepare just the way your mother used to make it. Okay? You look sick. What's the matter? Ma, I am not sick. What is it? Um, I, I, I don't have all the time in the world. Okay. Um, what? Just that the... Um, the what? The... the I don't the, have the, time. The jam, the jam registration has commenced, Ma. I, I don't know my feet. Shut up. You don't know your feet. Of course you're not supposed to know your fate. You're here to work for me. That is your fate. It's not for you to tell me when to register you for jump. When I'm ready, I'll do that. 
just concentrate on your job. Jump for a session has commenced. Look at you. Make sure the soup is as tasty as what your mother used to do. the mess that you made the other day. Oh, please, come on, Mom. You promised not to talk about it again. Is it that easy? Hmm? Uh-uh. Mom, why is all the crying? Don't mind that stupid thing. She was trying to remind me that jam registration is on. <laughs> is that why she's crying? Must everyone go to school? Search me. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm leaving. Take care of the house. I'll be back shortly. Okay, okay mom. Take care of yourself too. You do. <sighs> the village still wants to go to school. How possible? <laughs> oh, please. <sighs> um, Antonia, my good friend, I, I decided to visit to, you know, talk about what happened at my place the other day. I mean. It was totally unacceptable. Um, I need you to apologize to your son on my daughter's behalf. Actually, Vivian would have come with me, but I figured that um, Kingsley wouldn't be around, so I need us to fix a meeting for them so they can sort out the issue themselves. Beatrice, your daughter disappointed me. I least expected what I saw. I was equally disappointed. I mean, it's unbecoming of a grown-up like her with her level of education. But that's, by the way, if I tell you that she really, really regrets it, you won't believe it. Please, let's try and see what we can do for them, please. Well, you have spoken well, my dear friend. I wanted to see you, but I was waiting for my husband to come back from his trip. There is a new development. A new development? My son is now interested in your niece, Olido. How can that be? How do you mean? I never expected such from your son. Considering his social status. I mean, Olido is smelly, ugly and dirty. What would your son want to do with that? You know what? I think I have to leave. Well, continue with this discussion some other time. You know what, Professor Akman? Go back to the Faculty of Social Sciences and make inquiries about me. I am a no-nonsense lady. For four years I was there, I made things happen. I am unstoppable. I am an authority. Want that man to stop saying trash about me. Want him. Else, I will crush him. Ah, Mom, what is the problem? You look You're... restless. Your stupidity has cost you a lifetime opportunity. What happened? What is it? You are so stupid. Absolutely stupid. I mean, how could you? How many times have I warned you to watch how you behave and act at, at, at people you do not know? Because you never know who is who. How many times? Mother, what is the problem this time around? What? Well, the young man Kinsley that came looking for you is now looking at Oledo. How about that? What? Is he that classless? How could he do that? It's not about class. Alright? It is not about class. Well, again, it's your mess. So you know what? 
You clean it up the best way you know how to. Stupid. this prescription exactly the way I have written it. Yes, doctor. Good. I'll keep you posted in case of an emergency. Very good. Good afternoon, doctor. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm fine. A lady named Vivian is here to see you. So, um, are there no patients to attend to? Yes, there are people at the waiting room, but Dr. Ben can be attending to them while you urgently attend to the lady. Your father will always say, do not keep a lady waiting. <laughs> so, um, it's alright. Let her in. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Oh, please do have a seat. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> ah, thank you. Girl. Thank you. What a pleasant surprise. <laughs> now, how may I help you? Um, it's lunchtime. Do you have time to spare so you can actually go out and have some shots? That's a fabulous idea, but unfortunately, I have so much work on my desk. I know before there are some patients out there who need doctors to attend to them. So. My partner, Ben, is attending to them, but I'm not sure the work would be enough for him, so I need to join them. So if you have something important to say, why not say it here? Mm -hmm. Well, it's fine if that is how you want it. Um, I actually came so we can talk. You know, ever since we met at my place, I've been looking for a way to meet you again. But I know you're always busy due to the nature of your job. That is why I decided to come to your office. Um, I want to apologize for what happened that day. I mean, I'm not always like that. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. Truly, I am sorry. Uh, Vivian, it's all right. I heard you from you. From the depth of my heart, I forgive you. If it's from your mind, it's okay. It's a thing of the past, so let's forget about it. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, most importantly, I am sure you are aware of the initial arrangement by our parents for us to get married. Yes, I'm aware of that. What about it? I know it's meant to be on a ground of understanding to see if we could actually make it work. Exactly. It is not going to work. Why would you say that? We are just beginning to know each other. Um, Vivian, I'm a man that speaks his mind and I would like to tell you the truth so that I would not be misquoted. What are you saying? Um, look Vivian, I, I met you, I already have an interaction with you, so certainly you're not the one. I have someone else my heart yearns for. I, I, I'm sorry, you mean you prefer my cousin only to me? Is that what you're saying? How did you know this? It doesn't matter. Look, Kesley. I don't see any reason we can't make it work. I know we can. Hmm? Um, sorry, um, that's if we love each other. But even if you do, I don't. Listen, I have made my stance on this case. It's final. We cannot be. Well, I guess I have to take my leave now. Um, extend my greetings to your mother. Yes. Bye. 
line. Good readers to bad rubbish. Doctor. Yeah? There's an emergency. 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 You said his child would never amount to anything. Oh yeah, magic. God, please help me. I am so confused right now. I don't know what to do. Look at me living like a slave in my own aunt's house. A woman that was supposed to play the role of a mother to me. She promised to take very good care of me and send me to the university. Why the sudden change of mind and attitude towards me? Have I done anything wrong? Is this how I'm going to continue? Heavenly Father, I need your guidance. Vivian, come back. What's wrong with you? I'm sorry, Mom. I wasn't thinking straight. That's why I didn't notice you. Why were you not at the office today? You went to see Kinsley. You did? So, what did you people talk about? I purposely went to see Kinsley during lunchtime to see if we can go out for lunch and resolve our differences. Mm -hmm. But he refused and insisted I should say whatever I want to discuss with him in his office. So, well, I expected you to take advantage of the situation. Take advantage of what, mother? He insulted me by telling me he had some patients to attend to. He values patients more than me. So what happened after that? He was very rude. He made me to understand that it will never work between us. That his heart belongs to somebody else. And that person is all What? Yeah. Hmm. Mom, how can I lose a man to? To Oledo. That thing. Hmm. He said all that to you? Yes, Mom. He was very serious. Mom, we have to do something. I have never been so embarrassed and disrespected. If he's not going to marry you, then he definitely cannot marry your leader. I will do something about it. But, first things first. Oledo! Oledo! Yes, Auntie. I am here, ma. What are you doing? I was in the kitchen. Do you know Kingsley? Is he the same Kingsley that came here? I did him no wrong. Why are you staring at us like a moron? Did you know he had a question? Do you know Kingsley? Yes, I I know one Kinsley that came here to look for you. Good. I don't ever want to hear that he visited and you opened the door for him when there's no one in the house. If he comes, attend to him behind the door and let him go back to wherever he's coming from. 
Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. Why are you staring at her like a fool? Did you understand the instruction she just gave? I did. I'll go back to the kitchen. No, come back here. Listen. You see that Kensley? He is my man who came for me because he finally decided to make me his wife. If you know whatever witchcraft you laid across his path that has made him to suddenly develop cold feet, hmm. undo it. Undo it. Hmm. Because I am going to crush you like a trailer. Fool. Get out of my sight. Men, they always like the dirty ones. <laughs> you wouldn't wish it away. Has no respect for nobody. What you sow, you shall reap. Uh, the truth of the matter is, I am not ready to marry. But my mother convinced me, she gave me one or two reasons. And then the most important part is that she has someone already in mind. Just when I made out time to go see this person, I found another person. And guess what? That is the right person. Yes, that's the one I'm going to make my wife. <laughs> of course, of course, I know how women behave and all that. But this seems to me more like war. And I'm ready to withstand whatever comes out of it. Of course, you know, lately I have not given women attention because of work and reasons best known to me. Especially, I wouldn't want to end up with the one that would frustrate my life. <laughs> of, of course. I'll keep you posted as soon as everything is set. Alright? If you are going to succeed as a nurse in this hospital, then you must learn to mind your business. I don't know what you mean by that. Have I said anything wrong? Dr. Kingsley is not just one of the doctors in this hospital. He is the son of the founder and currently the medical director. You have no right whatsoever to discuss his personal life. I only made an observation. He's not looking okay lately. Madam Observer. And still, he was able to manage that lady who was on the verge of death. It is possible you are planning to throw yourself at him. I pity you because he will just fire you. Where is that coming from? I never told you I'm planning to do that. You don't need to tell me anything before I know what's running through your head. Belinda, stop looking at the MD inappropriately before you find yourself in the labor market. This is one thing I hate about you. You always read meaning into everything. I'm sending you peace. It's coming. What a pleasant surprise. <laughs> this is it. Thank you. <sighs> you didn't even call or send a text to tell me you weren't coming. Huh? That's all like you. Am I missing something? <laughs> I actually tried to reach you, but your line wasn't connecting. Oh. And unfortunately, I'm not the text message type. Forgive me. I actually switched off my phone. I mean, I was having a lot of disturbing calls, text messages. I had no choice than to switch off. Sorry about that. It's okay. Kingsley told me that Vivian was at his office. Are you aware of that? Yes, I am aware of that. Betty, please. I want you to help me plead with your daughter not to feel disrespected or embarrassed. You know, the initial plan was to see if they would fall in love and make things work. But unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. Let us just allow the young man follow his heart. After all, Oledo is still your daughter. Uh, your son is cheering my family. I mean, why would he want to marry Oledo when Vivian has been the one on the line? I don't see anything wrong with that. Everything is wrong with it. 
Oledo is not my daughter. And she can never fit into that picture. Betty, I want us to remember that they were never engaged. And they had no kind of relationship before now. So what do you want me to say? If your son is not ready to marry Vivian, he should stay clear of all later. Betty, I really do not like the way you're taking this whole thing. Well, I will leave now and give you some time to think about it. I think it's actually your son you should be talking to. He should be the one doing the thinking. Son, I am still surprised that you are operating in this small office instead of my office. Father, why the rush? Moreover, I'm still comfortable with this office and I still see you as the medical director. Okay, so they come out of that. I have really wished that position for you. You should be operating from the office of the MD. All right, Father, I am sure this is not what brought you here. Can we just proceed to the reason you're here? Well, um, son, there is this issue I want us to talk about without involving your mother in the house. But of course, you know, there's no way I would talk with you without your mother pumping in. So I decided to come to the office. I hope it has got nothing to do with Auntie Beatrice and her daughter. So, you know, the original plan was for you and Vivian to get on well and of course end as husband and wife. But the way you're going about it, uh, it seems uh, what we... And as it turned out, the lady you hold in high esteem is bereft of manners. I am sure you wouldn't want your son to settle with such a woman. Would you? Uh, I have pondered on this long enough. But I don't think Madame Beatrice will be home with you getting married with her niece instead of her daughter. All right, Father, let us judge this critically. Why would she have a problem with my choice? I mean, I am the one who is going to live this woman. Don't you think I should be given the right to make a choice of the woman I am going to live with? Look, this. Oledo, you speak of, uh, is she uh, really aware of this decision? Um, well, she doesn't know, but I think I'll be visiting Auntie Beatrice's house on Sunday and then I'll get to meet her so we talk about it. <sighs> you know, that lady and your mom have been friends for as much as I can remember. So I wouldn't want this your decision to deter their friendship. Father, in all honesty, if choosing my wife, a woman I am going to spend the rest of my life with, a woman that possesses everything I want in a woman could tear them apart. It simply means they were never friends in the first place. How about that? Who would have told my mother that Auntie Beatrice would change against me like this? Everyone has gone to sleep. And this is the time I am allowed to eat. Jehovah, the mighty man in battle, I know you are up there looking at me. Please make a way for me, even where there is no way. My one and only beautiful sister, Bridget. What are you doing here? Just me. 
I am hoping you're not going to start from where they stopped. I don't understand. I'm even regretting why I came back home. I've not even finished dropping my bag when mom and dad started shouting at me. They were just shouting! Hey, 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 hey. You're in my office, I'm okay? Sorry, I'm sorry. You've not said anything. Why was mom shouting at you? They aren't at me that I left school without calling. And that the moment I decided to take my bag, I would have put a call through to tell them that I was going to come to their house. Or better still, inform them that I'm on my way home so that they will be rest assured that I'm safe. King when I was trying to explain to them, but I wanted to give them a surprise. They paid no attention. Do you want to know the truth? You are wrong. They are right. What, King? You heard me right. You see, with the level of insecurity we have in this country, your family should always know your whereabouts. So that if anything happens, we know exactly where to start tracking you. King, you know what? You all are joy killers. I beg your pardon. Look, sis, you see. See what I brought home to come and show you people, but you people not even pay attention to see. Just see my progress so far. See it. Mom and dad will not even listen to me. They'll just be shouting, yelling and... But I'm just worried right now. <laughs> King, why are you laughing? Why should I not laugh? It's a thing to celebrate. My younger sister is on the front page of an international magazine. And you, you expect me not to laugh. This is... This is good. This is... This is big. Wow, so... How did you pull this stunt? King, it is not a stunt. Look. My modeling career is beginning to take an international shape. I'm on the cover page on Merit King. Can't you see it? All right, that's enough. I, I'll talk to Mom. I'll see how she can understand with you. Thank you, Ah, This is massive. My kid sister on the front page of an international magazine. You can say that again, King. That's just uh, what I wanted them to see. This is really nice. I'm impressed. Thank you for supporting me. Love you. Is this really you? Uh -uh, I doubt <laughs> it. You're welcome. Thank you, my dear. You don't look okay. Are you alright? Do you mind telling me what the problem is? Um, ma, I'm, uh, I am surprised you are here by this time of the day. My auntie is not at home. She's still in her office and I have a feeling you know that. I know. Mm. Sit. Eh? Yes, sit down. I've not come to see your aunt. I've come to see you. You came to see me? Yes. Do you know my son, Kingsley? Yes. He once came here to see my auntie Beatrice. Good. Since he met you, the only name he calls is your name. He says he wants to marry you. Eh? Mm -hmm. Marry me? Yes. How is that going to be possible? With God, everything is possible. He has chosen you over your cousin, Vivian, because of your good behavior. Hey, your son chose me. It's one day. Over my cousin Vivian. Yes. Ha. Ma, please. I, I, I don't know if you are joking or you are serious, but whatever it is, I'm passing through a lot already. I don't want to add more. Biko. If you are serious, it's not going to be possible. Not when my Auntie Beatrice is alive. She will not allow it to. In fact, they have warned me to stay clear of Kingsley. Now I know why. Please, I beg in the name of God. You won't understand. I'm passing through a lot already. I don't understand. With God, everything is possible. I understand your plight. And I know your aunt very well. But I want you to know one thing. Nobody can take away your destiny. They can only delay it. Ma, I don't know what else to say. You don't need to say anything now. But just think about what I told you. Okay? Mm. Mm. I'll leave. Just calm down. Everything will be fine. Okay?
Excuse me. Où va Vivian? Et toi, Andy? Well, um, no, I didn't have much doing at work today, so I decided to come home to rest. Uh, I mean, if anything comes up, I have doctors at the hospital who are capable, and if they cannot handle it, they'll give me a call. I have a near-perfect structure in place. That's nice. There's no problem, it's just that everybody will be surprised to see you at home at this time. You know now. I don't understand. Have I suddenly become such a workaholic? Oh. Yes, now. You know what I mean. You've been working so hard and when you come back home, you look used. <laughs> <laughs> well, enough of me. Let's talk about you. What have you been up to? About me? Nothing serious. Just my modeling job. Aha. What well, is your modeling the reason you refuse to study abroad? Big girl just wait. I don't know why everybody is so concerned about me traveling abroad for my studies. Look, there are good universities in this country and my school is among the best. Besides, I can still travel abroad for my uh, modeling, so it's not an excuse. Come on, but serious. <laughs> oh, stop. I know you too well. Hmm? So confide in me, tell me. What exactly is the reason you have refused to study abroad? Not like I'm refusing. Look, I want to start up a career in this country first. And then I can travel abroad for expansion or other degrees like MSc and PhD. <laughs> I just love modeling. And I'm doing well. Come on, support oh, your sister. Okay, 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 fine, fine. I support you, my chartered account. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, my brother. Doki, doki. I don't want to say I can't come close to my brother again. <laughs> what are we celebrating? Oh. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi. Uh, Mommy, nothing. We're just having a discussion. Really? Yes, Mom. <laughs> what a surprise. You're home early. I hope all is well. All is well, Mom. I, I didn't have much to do at the office today, so instead of whiling away time, I'd rather come home and rest. That's nice. Really? Are you sure? Sorry. Must you know everything? But mom is good to know a little of everything. Okay, my lecturer. <laughs> go and um, set things up. I want to cook. Mm. I'm having a conversation with my brother. I'm coming back so we'll continue our discussion. I'll be here. Mom, sorry. <laughs> She's so good. Ah, Sam. Are you sure this thing is going to work? Oh, I don't understand if what would work. Your association with our lady. Are you sure it will be possible? Why, why the sudden doubt? I went to their house. And I saw her so stressed up and depressed. That guy is really going through hell. And with this now, it will be increased. Because Beatrice will definitely see her as a distraction. So, what do you suggest I do? I suggest you forget about her. As a matter of fact, forget about that family. Look somewhere else. Mother, Auntie Beatrice will not detect who I would marry. Neither will she be an obstacle. I have made up my mind I will marry that girl. I'll find time to go see her, sort things out. See who? 
Olendo or Beatles. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, kids. So how are you? I'm fine. That's it. You're welcome. Thank you, ma. Um, what do I offer you? Uh, nothing, ma. I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. Sure. How's your mom? Oh, she's fine. She she sends her greetings. That's good. Oh, as a very busy doctor in town, I mean, how do you cope with your schedule? Ah, uh, honestly, mom, it's not that easy. But you know, it's our work, so we've gotten used to it already. I trust you. Um, unfortunately, um, Vivian just got oh, out. Mom, I, I haven't come to see Vivian. Oh, really? I came to see you. Yes. Me? What for? Um. You want to talk about something? Yes, mom. Okay, I'm all ears. I, I prayed very well before coming here, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't want you to see me as an unreasonable person. It's just that. No doubt, Vivian is a very beautiful girl of every standard, you see, but... I know. Truthfully, she does not possess the qualities that I need in a woman, and I cannot pretend to love her when I don't. So, for us not to do this in and out, then, I, I just... I just won't put myself in that position. I'm sure you understand. You know, there is no perfect woman. You just mold a woman into what you want her to be. Why will I label myself molding another when I have someone already molded to my taste? You will not marry her. I mean, how can you? That smelly, dirty girl. Oh, come on. I don't expect this of you. You are educated and enlightened. What you need is Vivian. She's classy. She's beautiful. She's got brains. If she stands beside you, the sky would be a stepping point. You can't choose her over my daughter. I don't understand. The one I chose is equally your daughter. She is not my daughter. You know what? Let's change the topic. Let's talk about something more exciting. What? Hi. Hi, Mom. Hey, uh, okay, darling. How are you? I'm fine. Hi. You're looking good. Babe, sit. Sit down. Oh, darling. <laughs> it's been so long. I've been missing you. Hmm? Have you eaten? Should I get you anything to eat? Uh, he, he doesn't need uh, anything. I know. I was just speaking with your aunt a while ago. It's a good thing that you're back. Listen, I'm... I know what you want to say. Please, I don't want trouble. I am passing through a lot already. If you stick to your decision, I'm going to have serious problem with my aunt. Please, she's already seen me as an obstacle. She may even kill me. Will you please. Calm, please calm down. Listen, calm down. I understand how you feel, but I want you to know that there is no problem without solution. Please calm down. Listen. Listen, my heart yearns for you. I can't deny it. It's real. Can't you see? I don't even know you well enough to marry you. Marriage is the least of my problems right now. I have to go, please. Uh, listen, listen. All I do. I am an American trained doctor. I do not give up easily. You may equally be trained in Russia. That is not my business. You belong to me and no one else. Hi, Mom. Hello, princess. How do I look? Gorgeous. Thank you, Mom. Where are you off to? Okay, I'm going for a friend's birthday party. Mom, oh. why is King? Don't tell me he's still at work even on Sunday. Don't even try making a chest of him. Not. Well, he went to Auntie Beatrice's house. 
Now, I think I have to give you a little lecture. Okay, ma'am. As a medical doctor, even if they call him around 2 a.m., if there's an emergency, he has to go. Oh, mom, there are other doctors at the hospital. Sweetheart, there is something they call areas of specialization. Okay. You win. I rest my case. Thank I you. I have to be on my way and I'm running it. All right, darling. <coughs> Love you, mom. Love you, mom. Mom. Uh, hey. Hi. Big bro. Welcome. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Where are you going? To a friend's party. All right, be safe. Give me that. Thank you. Mommy, see you later. All right, be careful. Okay, thanks. So, son, how did it go? Honestly, mother, one will never believe that Aunt Beatrice is the devil's incarnate. Honestly, that woman is so rude. She's... Thank God I did not end up marrying her daughter. That would have been the biggest mistake of my life. What really happened? You needed to have seen the way she spoke to Oli. Mother, that woman has no conscience at all. In fact, she told me that she wouldn't have given me her consent. Now I see who Vivian took after. I said it. I saw it coming. There is no way Beatrice will give you her blessings if you leave her daughter for Oledo. I saw Oledo. She was returning from the market. Mother, you needed to have seen her. She was looking so depressed, so malnourished, so, so frustrated. Oh, girl. I don't know why she is treating her that way. Mom, that girl is going through hell. She needs help. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. Oh, she's going through so much stress already. Mom, I have to go back then. I mean, I, I need to have a word with her. Let's see how I can help her. Kingsley, if you can listen to me, leave that girl alone and let God fight for her. Mother, what if I am the girl that should fight for her? Kingsley, when did you start talking like this? I agree, she's a good girl. I like her too. <laughs> leave Oledo alone. If you want to marry her, then be ready for the battles ahead. What if I'm ready? Okay, and my mom will soon be with you. Okay. Do you need anything? No, I don't. Thank you. Okay. My friend, my friend. Uh, you sounded as if something was wrong. Antonia, I, I, I just don't like what your son did. He came to my house to insult me. Insulted you? Yes. How? Well, we had both agreed and suggested that Vivian and Kingsley would get married. I mean, if we had felt that it wasn't going to work, we wouldn't have planned it in the first place. Why are you sounding as if we are already quarreling? We're not quarreling. Listen, I know that my daughter messed up, but that's not why Kingsley should jump into conclusion. Hold on, hold on, let me get this. My son is interested in your niece, Oledo. He went to your house to let you know. How has he insulted you? Don't make me feel that both of you are in this together. That was an insult. No, my dear friend, I disagree with you. My son loves Oledo. And she's equally your daughter. Why are you behaving as if this whole thing is a do or die affair? Well, let me make something clear. If Kinsley is not going to marry my daughter Vivian, neither would he marry Oledo. Unfortunately, it is not in your place to dictate who my son marries. What is this? Why are you behaving as if you know who your daughter is destined to marry? Whoever it is might be more hardworking and more prominent than my son. Why are you working yourself up? You know what? I have made myself clear. If Kinsley 
cannot marry my daughter Vivian, then he will not get close to Oledo. Better stop him, else you will not like the other side of me. Do have a great day, darling. American. Sorry for this. I thought we planned something together and at the last minute I want to disappoint me. What auto rubbish? Mom. Mother, hmm? why did Auntie Beatrice live like that? Hope there is no problem. No, not at all. Okay. So tell me, when is Daddy coming back from Ghana? Today. As a matter of fact, any moment from now. Good. I know he's the only one that can make you open up. Mom, that you're hiding something from me and it's obvious. It's telling all over you. Mommy, what is it? And she told you all that. She did. But I'm not surprised. See the kind of friends you keep. That woman might be up to something. Yes. I've been thinking about it. But her son does not want to decline. Why must he decline? Because of Beatrice? Ah, uh, no. I'm not in support of that. Since she left, she has not been taking my calls. Really? I'm not interested. She doesn't have any tangible reason for calling me. Maybe she just wants to explain one or two things, but I am not interested. I may be beginning to hit that case. I beg your pardon. Why would you say that? Mom, he is classless. How can a man see someone like me and is interested in Olido? Dirty Olido, who has just three pants and two brows. They are on the same level. That's why he has no sense of fashion. If you knew the family we're talking about here, you wouldn't say what you just said. They are rich. I mean, extremely rich. They would never go poor in their lifetime. So think twice before you utter those words of hatred. I'll be going back to school tomorrow. And up till now, I have not heard anything positive about my career for mom. Why are you worried? She's a mother and I need her blessings to succeed as a woman. You may be right. But I also need you to look at it from a broader perspective. How do you mean? All right. Father is the head of the family and he has no problem with the career path you've chosen. Why not see that as the push that you need? King, I appreciate all the support I've been getting from Dad. Dad, I can never forget. But please, you know Mother listens to you. I want you to help me talk to her. I need the support, please. I want you to know that a time will come in anyone's life when he or she will ignore every other person and follow their hearts. Especially when they are certain they are going through the right path. This is the point in your life and I need you to do the needful. Are you, are you trying to say I should forget about our mother? You're going back to school tomorrow, right? Yes. I need you to ponder over this issue. 
open your heart. Follow your heart. And I tell you as your elder brother, you will have nothing to regret. Thank you, King. I appreciate Thank you. Hmm. It's been so long, bro. Yes, so. Hmm. Thank you. Nice dress. If you need anything else, you let me know. Come back and take this tray. Managing too. You know this banking thing and your stress. Bank. No problem, I can understand. <laughs> Is that girl your cousin you told me about? Yes, she's the one. Why is she looking like that? You know, for once I almost thought your mom got another maid. How is that your problem? I beg just me. What's up with the guy you told me your mother wanted to pick you up with? Hey! My dear. My dear. Long story. See me see trouble. I was at home one day when a guy who looked every inch a poorly paid civil servant came looking for my mom. You know me now. I talked to him rudely. Because of the kind of confidence he was showing. I didn't really know he was the one my mom was talking about. Are you serious? Hmm. Very serious. It was later on I got to find out he was the one. Vivian, this is not sounding good though. I have always told you to be cautious with the way you talk to people or treat people. You never can tell who is behind the picture. Hmm. So what happened? To tell you the truth, I really regret my action that day. I don't know what that witch did to him. He said he doesn't want me anymore but her. Who? The girl that just served us? Yes, my cousin Oledo. Hey, Vivian, this is serious, so. It is. So you did not apologize? Despite all my apologies, he still insisted that he wants Oledo, not me. And what did your mom say about this? Yeah, you know my mom, she would never allow that to happen. Well, maybe you guys are not destined to be. Oh, if you ask me, I would say you should forget about this guy and his choice and move on with your life before the whole thing would look like you're forcing yourself on him. Who is this guy anyways? His name is Kinsley, a medical doctor who runs his father's hospital. He just came back from the US. He's now the medical director of his father's hospital. <laughs> Wait a minute. You mean Dr. Kinsley of Trinity Specialist Hospital? You sound as if you know him one-on-one. -on -one. I know him! Oh. That is our family hospital. That guy is the talk of the town now. People are already giving him credit with the way he does his job. People even prefer him to his father as a new medical director. And you know what? People are now rushing that hospital because of him. You know, I met him when I followed my mom for her medical checkup and he was introduced as the new medical director and as the son of the former medical director. Vivian, you have messed up. Yes, I have. I know you must have learned your lessons now. My dear, I have. But I have, I have already forgotten about him. There are thousands of guys out there. But one thing is for sure, he will never marry Oledo. I'm 
mom see the mama? <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I'm supervising the plants that I paid the gardeners heavily to take care of. Hmm, they spent quality time here. I'm mm -hmm. sure they know what they're doing. Exactly. Oh, by the way, I am... Um, I think we need to strategize. On what exactly? Well, I, I, I met uh, Kingsley's mom and... Oh, please, mom! Forget about Kingsley! This whole thing is beginning to look as if I'm forcing myself on him and I don't like that! I don't! I After all, he's not the only man on earth. I thought you had gone past the stage. You see, all I'm trying to say is we need to do something. Mom, I have made up my mind. Kingsley can go. But one thing is for sure. He will never marry Oledo. Of course he will never marry Oledo. You are the one that he's going to marry. Trust me on that. I know what I'm doing. You wouldn't wish it away. Oh, there you go. There's no respect for nobody. What you sow, you shall reap. Just in time, yeah. 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 I remember all the promises you made. To the living and the dead Said you bring the hopes alive While you're crushing them future Is it nice, is it right To say something you don't mean to do Nobody owns tomorrow Nobody has tomorrow Wait, wait, wait Listen, it's glaring I mean, from your countenance, it is obvious that you're not comfortable with me being here. Thank God you noticed. I'm already in a lot of trouble because I let you in. Point of correction. You never let me in. You wanted me out. But I forced myself in. And that is because I want us to have this meeting. Have meeting with you? How? Listen, I know what is running through your mind, but it's not going to work. It will not work. Olido, listen to me. I have not come here to ask you to marry me again. I came for more important issue. Listen, I don't want my, my, my auntie to come here and see us together. Nabanu Bikon, leave. Go. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, I'll go. There are things I need to explain. What is going on here? Oh, God. Uh, uh, welcome, ma. Welcome. <laughs> Good afternoon, ma. I ask again, what is going on here? Um, actually, I was just uh, trying to, you know, say a few... You... Now, you listen. You do not come to visit my home unannounced. Next time you want to come to my house, you give me a call. All right? Now, please leave. Auntie, this is Kingsley Kennedy. Kingsley Kennedy, get out. Did you not hear what she just said? Hmm? She said, get out. You fool. Get out. Son, where have you been? I went to visit Oledo and my mistress walked in and she became furious. She asked me out of her house. Beatrice asked you out of her house? I don't even want to talk about it. Where's father? He's inside. Where are you off to? I want to go to the mall. Let me know what they are doing. All right, now I'll see you when you get back. All right, let's take it easy, okay? Ma, please, may I'm saying the truth. I, 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 I did not invite him. I did not let him in. He, 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 he forced himself inside. The crooked ideas will not help you. Who invited a classless doctor here? Who? I swear on my life. In fact, I swear on my mother's grief. I did not invite him. I, I had a knock on the door. I opened the door I, 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 and he forced himself inside. Really? Yes, ma. You didn't invite him? Yes, ma. Okay. So, what were you people talking about? 
Not a no. We're not talking about anything. I, I was telling him to go before you came in. Mm. Yes, ma. Mom, you see? I told you that this girl has graduated into so many things. Okay. Stop underestimating her. Now see what is happening. Look at it. I swear I'm telling you the truth. I know. So you're not lying to me? No, 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 no. I cannot lie to you. And you flaunted my instructions. And you're letting me. He forced himself. Hmm? He forced himself. I see. You want to bite the fingers that are feeding you. Oh, my. You know what? Please. That your witchcraft will not work. Yes. You want to use witchcraft and turn Kingsley away from marrying my daughter. Oh. Now you have to leave. It's possible. Leave my house. Here's hmm. your transport. And have a safe trip. I, I don't have anywhere to go to, man. Please, uh, please forgive, help me. I, well, I don't know. I don't even know what I've done wrong. Please, eh? please. No, no, no. You don't know what you have done wrong, eh? You don't know what you have done. Oh yes. Get out. You heard her. Help Mona, me, help me, beggar. Go please. back to your useless village. Please. Okay, you're still waiting. Please, please. please. Mama. please. Mama. Yes, oh, please. Get out. Please. Get out. Go back to where you're coming from. Go back to your useless please. village. Yeah, please, I mean. Husband snatch. I don't have anywhere to go to. I don't have anywhere to go to. Please. What are you still with? I beg you. I beg. What are you doing in my house? What's the meaning of that question? Well, I have come to see my friend. Tonya, I am not your friend. Better leave my compound before I do something I'll regret. What is wrong with you, Beatrice? Hmm? What is it? Why don't you allow destiny take its course? What is it? Tonya. Except I am not alive. Your son would never marry Oledo. Why didn't I know all these years that you are this wicked? Well, let me tell you something. If both of them are meant to be together, with or without your consent, the will of God must surely prevail. Get out of my house now. I am leaving. Oh, mark my words. Classless non-entity. Parading herself like a woman with class. By the time I am done with you and your son, you will know to respect a woman in charge. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now that you are on your annual leave, are you planning on traveling out? <laughs> are you not the one forcing me to take a leave? And that is because it is the right thing to do. A doctor should work for some time and then back on leave. <laughs> oh, there is no there. And to think I once called her my friend. This whole thing is crazy. She's a sadist. That girl's life is in danger. She might kill her. She might kill that innocent girl. Uh, I would be right to conclude that you're making reference to Beatrice, your friend? Yes. Oh, uh, I don't want to discuss a woman who don't want to understand a simple thing. I'm oh, sorry. Excuse me, please. Hello? Yeah, this is Dr. Kingsley. Is everything alright? Alright, I'll, 
I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Mm. What's the problem? I'll call from the hospital, I need to get there. One second, let me check. Hey. The life of a dedicated doctor. It's our job, and we are not complaining. Well, I pity you guys. It's our job. So, Dr. Ben, who brought her here? Well, nobody brought her. Um, the nurse at the front office actually said she was asking after you before she passed out. And um, that was why I had to call you. She might be a family member. Because she's more than a family member to me. Thanks for calling me. Thank you. Took, uh, come on. You. you are the chief here. Anything for you, boss. Thank you. So, how are you feeling now? I'm feeling better. Now that you can talk, can you tell me what happened? <laughs> uh, no, no, Oli, don't do this now. It's not good for your health, okay? This is not good for your condition at all. Don't cry, please. It's alright, just rest. We'll talk about it later. It's okay. It's okay. Good morning, Good morning, how are you? Fine, Doctor. How was your night? It's very good. Um, Alright, Olido, this is the nurse I have assigned to you. She will take care of you, administer your drugs and injection that's at Wendy, okay? Um, nurse, this is a very special patient to me. You must pay good attention to her. Whatever she wants to give to her, I mean whatever she wants. Do you understand? Yes, Doctor. Good. Sweetheart, let me just wash him and change her. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Alright? Take very good care of her. Okay? Yes, How are you feeling now? Feeling better. Okay. Is he angry with me? Come on, don't say that. Dr. Kingsley never gets angry with anybody. Not even with the patient. What would you like to eat? Anything at all and I'll get it for you. You have started to sleep at the hospital again. For heaven's sake, you are the medical director. You should learn how to delegate the responsibilities. I know, mother. Something came up and I had to stay back at the hospital. But that option was my best judgment. Do you mind sharing with us? All right. They called me because a woman collapsed in front of our office. What? What did you diagnose eventually? I hope the said woman is okay now. Well, she's okay and the said woman happens to be your lady. Oh my God. What? I had to run a detailed medical examination on her and... Afterwards, I just couldn't, I just couldn't leave. I had to stay back with her, you know. Just try to be there for her. You mean the girl is at the hospital as we speak now? Yes, father. But she'll be fine. I mean, she's responding to treatment, so... But why did she collapse in the first place? Was she malnourished? Well, I wouldn't know. I tried to ask her severally, but she burst into tears and... I decided to just let her rest. Well, good thing that uh, she came to your hospital, so that you can find a way around everything so fast. All the same, you will come home, son. I'm still so surprised at Beatrice. The same person who brought you to help you is the same person who is against you. Oh, no. I pleaded with her that I didn't have anywhere to go to. But she insisted that I should leave her house. All because my son indicated interest in you? Why is she like this for St. Peter's sake? Huh. I don't know what I did to her that made her change her mind towards me. When my mother died, she said she would send me to school. But when it was time for jam registration, she said that she waits until next year. She told me to sleep in her house, and since then she has been frustrating me. Ah, it's becoming clear to me that God has a reason for everything. Well, um, my wife will not have problem with you staying here with us, as we find a way to inform your people that you are now living with us. Hmm? 
Of course not. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. It's obvious that God has a hand in this. Thank you. Oh, Thank no, you so no, no, much. Get up, get up, get up. Everything will be fine, okay? I think we need to team up with a strong and reliable company to be able to handle the contract. You don't have to worry, Mom. I will take care of that. It doesn't to put up a fault if you be blind. Everything will be in place. I always seem to forget that you're the business guru here. So I'll just sit back and let you navigate the show. <laughs> Mom, I'm thinking of something. What? I think you need to travel to the village to check up on Olido. To be sure she actually travels to the village like you instructed. <laughs> you know, the problem I have with the cheer or make up for Nanya is that at this age, he doesn't have a form. It doesn't make sense. Maybe he has no need for it. Oh, please. You know, these village men, what they consider as important are always very useless things. The last thing I want to do is see that man right now. What do you have to? Just to exonerate yourself in case anything happens to her. Oh well. I gave her money to travel with, but um, she never took it. Why? I wouldn't know. She left the money outside with the sleepers I bought for her. Maybe she wants to prove that she never got anything from me. That is a fat lie. She has been stealing from you. That is how she managed to get the money she used for her transport. But you still need to go to the village before the case to know that she no longer stays here with us. I don't want any trouble from those village people. <laughs> no, no, I don't. Nobody, absolutely no one needs any trouble from the village. But this new wine you bought, is it nice? Mm. Mm. Cheers. Enjoy already, cheers. Hi, Ma. Welcome, sir. Where have you been? I was with the agent concerning the house. Oh, really? Yeah. So, how did it go? Oh, perfect. Everything is in order. It's just that you need to touch it and everything will be fixed. That means um, soon you will move in. No, no, not exactly. The um, interior decorator was commissioned today, so I'm sure uh, a week or two it should be fixed. That's nice. Wow, that's very nice. Good afternoon, sir. Ma, lunch is served. Ma. Thank you very much. We'll be joining you soon. Welcome, sir. Is that Olido? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, she... Yes, I know she is beautiful, but... I never knew she was this beautiful. Well, what she needed was just a little touch-up and her beauty comes out. That was exactly what I did. You see, I like her so much. She's a good girl and I know she will make a good wife. So, son... What are you waiting for? Oh, mother, calm down. I don't want it to look like I'm taking advantage of her helplessness to make her my wife. Don't reason like that. You can see how beautiful she is. Yeah. Hmm? Why don't you do the needful? Uh, by the way, Senator Ikem and his son came here and the boy was just asking me who she was. I don't understand. Why is he asking after my woman? Which your woman? She's not your woman yet. If you want her to be your woman, you have to make her that. Well, son, it is better you do the needful on time before too many eyes will start flashing towards her. I have heard you, Your Majesty. Oh, no. I am just a medical doctor's wife. Let us go and eat. Mm. 
And mother, one more thing. You know, when prominent people like that come to, to look for you, just let her be inside of the kitchen. She doesn't have to come out. When she's not your maid. When you do certain things in life, do you ever think of tomorrow at all? How can you send her back to the village? And what is wrong with that? Is that not where she was brought from? If she cannot fit in here, it's only a day she goes back to where she came from. Are you really my friend and you're this heartless? Vivian, that babe is a daughter to your mother's sister. You may call her your cousin, but in traditional African setting, she's your sister. Oh, please. A fool can never be my sister. Do you even know the pain of what she did? That babe did nothing to you, Vivian. You lost that suitor because your attitude has always been bad. Please, don't insult me. I am not insulting you. I am telling you the truth. Your loss became your sister's gain. You shouldn't hold that against her. Well, unfortunately, that is not my business. My mom was the one who brought her. And if the person who brought her decides to take her back, how is that my business? How? Vivian, you could have stopped her, but you didn't, and I know why. You loved what your mother did. If you ask me, you're just as guilty. Please, can I have the form you brought for me to fill? Or I should take my business elsewhere, since you cannot stop interfering in my personal life. Gosh! Listen, if you know Kinsley, tell him that I said that he will never marry Oledo. That is my word. I may be wrong, but now I know what your mother was saying. Oh, I don't understand. She said that since you became the medical director, you have refused to operate from your father's office. Looking at this place, I feel she's right. <laughs> So I ask, what is your reason for not using your father's office? It is obvious that you've been bought over. <laughs> they got me here now that they've involved you. I'll relocate to my father's new office. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, sweetie. You know, you have a way of always making me feel special. But you are special, aren't you? So, um, tell me, what do you intend to do with your future? Well, I, I want to go back to school. My late father wanted me to become a lawyer, a big lawyer in Omodinkwa. I wish to give him that. And you will give him that? You see, you are not just going to be a big lawyer in Omodinkwa. You are going to be one of the biggest lawyers the world will celebrate. My father is the Chancellor of Anambra State University. I'll have him talk to one or two relevant authorities. I'm sure they would give you admission. Probably next week you could start up school. Next week? Next week. Yes, Just sir. like that. Just like that. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're welcome. I don't know how to appreciate you and your family for all you have been doing for me. My God will bless you all. Thank you very much and God will bless you too. You see, I want you to know that you deserve even more. I want you to know that if you want anything, please do not hesitate to let me know. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Beatrice, the big woman. You're welcome. Thank you. Just tell me the kind of wine you want to drink. Is it red wine or sour wine? I'm not drinking. I have told you not to bother yourself. I'm fine. Really? Mm -hmm. So how is Oledo, my daughter? Is she not here? What do you mean? For a week now, I've not seen Oledo. Well, I, I, that is why I'm here. I, I wanted to find out if she came back. 
I don't understand. What, what are you saying? Can you come out clear? What what exactly are you saying? You know, initially when I took her to the city, she was a nice and decent young girl. Hey, woman. please, Beatrice, you don't need to tell me about the decency, about the decent nature of Oledo. We raised her here and we can attest to her extreme decent quality. Let me tell you, anybody who marries Oledo, marries her. Well, I'm sorry to say that those angelic qualities are no longer there. What? Mm -hmm. When she came into the city, she behaved herself because she was timid and very naive. But the minute she got to know the city and made some friends, Oledo changed. I don't understand. She started keeping bad companies. Are you serious? I'm telling you. Oledo, Oledo. changed. Yes. I actually registered her for jam. Yes, can you said. You said you would do that. Can you believe she never made the cut off mark? Because she did not study. She was busy roaming around the city with those bad girls. Huh? After a while, you know, I, I wasn't happy with what she was up to, so I wanted to bring her back to the village. Then I said to myself, this is my sister's daughter, my niece, that we're talking about. What's the point of bringing her to the village to come and waste? And then I got a business proposal from Abuja. I had to leave for Abuja. Only for me to come back and Oli, there was nowhere to be found. Just like that? How, how, no, how is this possible? You mean that Oli do changed to that extent? Oli do change. I can't even believe it. I don't know what led to it, but Oli do. <laughs> it's not the Oli do you used to know. Hey! You, you don't know what to do. So what what what, what am I going to do now? No no no. But, well, to an extent, I don't know what to do. But I've already reported the case to the police. They were the ones that advised me to come home and find out if she's here. You know, but uh, to fulfill all righteousness, here I am, and there's no <sighs> old But there's something you need to know. What? Oledo has her eyes on going up. She wants to go out there and start her full-time prostitution. Ah. What do you do? But are you sure that something very wrong has not happened to Oledo? Ah. Oledo. Something happened to her. Oledo is a hard nut to crack. Is it the same Oledo? Oledo? The same Oledo you know. Nothing can ever happen to her. Besides, who knows? Maybe she took off with one of her boyfriends. What? Boyfriends? I don't understand. Wait, wait. You mean the same old lady who left here, possibly a virgin, has not grown to keeping boyfriends? Old lady has boyfriends. Different shapes, different sizes, different colors, different occupation, different religion. Old <laughs> She has bankers, she has mechanics, she Mechanic has a shoemaker, a politician that has not gone beyond his local government as a boyfriend, uh, or a seller, one hand uh, uh, boyfriend, who gives her opa on credit. And when she cannot pay, she pays with her. Uh, our Oledo. Mm -hmm. The same Oledo. Hello. This is, this is not good. Is what is happening? But I'm believing and I'm praying that someday she will get back her senses. Hey, what is wrong with Oledo? How can she be doing that? Oh, you're just feeling... What did you love her? This is so disturbing. You're feeling pain the same way I have been feeling. Sometimes I, I've cried over and over again, hey. but I said to myself, it is okay. But you know what? I, I have to go back to the city because the police are waiting for me to come back with some kind of result. Hey. You know, I can't keep them waiting so that they can continue with the investigation. It's okay. It's okay. I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not happy at all. This is not the kind of news I was expecting. I know. I know. It's terrible. But it's all right. I, I, I have to start going. Be nice. I enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. You come, come with me. We'll no, call no, it no, again. This one is just okay. Thank hey. you. Don't, don't bother seeing me off. I know you're shocked. It's all right. So take good care of yourself, alright? Voila. Okay.
Okay, okay, you should you keep me posted if I there's any, any development. I won't. Look at yourself. Get your wife from me. How can you do this? Eh? Who's on your job? Who's on your job? Who's on your job? Who's on your job? Did you hear that? I don't trust that one. What? It is possible she wanted to use her lady to make money from men and the poor girl refused. And she's coming to tell you all those things. So why must you bring your twist to everything? I don't understand. How can you say things like that? Did you hear what she said? How her lady has changed? Now I know her lady very well. There is no way she can do all that that the woman just said. Although it's possible, it's not possible at all. So I advise you investigate the matter yourself. Uh, uh, you do you know what Agnes? Just go into your room. Pack this is like what, what what are you saying? I should investigate this matter. Am I, I, I a police officer? The person who has gone to the police, can the police cannot do anything. Police refer her back to this place. You are telling me to investigate. Bring us about what? It has boiled down to what I said when she came here to carry her lady. I had preferred her lady to be here with me. You, you, you're not even bothered. Only the money mechanic and my I will go. Bless him up. You said his child will never amount to anything. Oh, yeah, I'm I can't believe it's all in order. Of course. I did. What do you expect? And the fool believed you, he had no choice. Because the way I started relating the story to him, he had no choice than to listen. You know, initially he was calm, but the, by the time I tabled everything, he was so angry and disappointed in her. Hmm. Hey, it's more, what if only the finds her way to the village? I beg, whether she finds her way to the village or not, that one is not my business anymore. As far as I'm concerned, that case is Closed. Hmm. I can picture your face when you were telling him that. Ah, uh, that's all they do. <laughs> when I think of her, I just laugh. She actually thinks she would have something to do with Kinsley. Ah, I don't blame her. But guess what? By the time I am done with her, she will regret ever laying her eyes on Kinsley. Or hearing that name, Kingsley. Mm. Ah, she hasn't seen anything yet. She hasn't seen anything. Sincerely speaking, Sandra, I am so disappointed in Dr. Kingsley. How could he think of marrying such a girl? What is wrong with her? She is a beautiful woman, and visibly, she looked like someone from a decent background. And you are well we're talking about a girl who has not gone beyond school set. What would the medical doctor of his class be doing with a girl like that? He can assist her further her education. The issue here is he loves this girl and wants her for himself. Come on. How are we even sure that this whole fainting of a thing at the reception is not still demanding just to get the MD? How can you say that? You were the one that attended to her initially. You practically brought her back to life. Why then would you say the whole thing was staged? Yeah, somebody has to attend to her. I'm, I'm just trying to understand what he would be doing with her. From what I gathered, he had already made his intentions towards her known from somewhere before now. He told me she was passing through a terrible phase and he managed to be the one she remembered. Dr. Ben, wish them good luck and face your business. Aledo. My husband and I have come to the conclusion that we will see your uncle next week. So I want you to be prepared. Ma, there is no preparation. I'm ready whenever you are. Even now. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> you are a lady. Mother what? we must not be taken on our eyes. 
Thank you, sir. There is something I would like to say to you, but I don't know how to say it. I don't know how best to put it. But I want you to know that I would love to spend the rest of my life with you. And you would make me the happiest man if you say yes to the question I'm about to ask you. Yes, I'll marry you. Uh, congratulations, son. Thank I'm so you. proud of you. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Son. Thank you, Mom. Thanks, Dad. Thank you. You're welcome to my family. Thank you. I'm so happy. And I pray that God will continue to bless this union. Amen. Amen. We will live together happy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I am surprised you now qualify Ovia with such strong words. The same Ovia who got your heart melted. I don't get it. You're saying as if you've forgotten what he did. Vivian, you were the same person who called me. Yes, I did. I just wanted you to see the classless guy that you gave your heart. He went all out with Melody and did some crazy things with her. Things I'm sure he never did with you. And who told you that? Melody herself. She didn't know where the information dropped from her mouth. I'm sure of that. So why are you saying all this? Why are you telling me this? For me to feel good or what? I just wanted to see the fool you gave your trust. Now that you know, I'm sure you will not allow him to make you go crazy. That fool does not deserve you. Trust me. Dr. Kennedy, I have heard everything you have explained. And I must have to tell you that I am very delighted with this visit of yours. I am grateful that God allowed this to happen because it can only be God. I remember vividly when that lady, Madame Beatrice, when she came here to solicit. My wife told me something and I didn't, I didn't listen. I am so disappointed right now to finally realize that a human being can actually be this heartless. I told my husband. I told him that woman Beatrice is very wicked. The very day she came into this house to trade us with lies of uh, uh, Oledo associating with terrible city girls, joining prostitution, running out of her house, I knew it was all lies. Because I know Oledo. Our own Oledo, I know her very well. Terrible lies, actually. She actually alleged that Oledo was planning to relocate to Europe for prostitution. That's what she said on that. It was indeed a, a terrible phase in Oledo's life. That woman turned her into a slave. No. She is the one that will remain forever a slave. She thought she is punishing Oledo. Actually, she drove Oledo to her destiny. God is wonderful. Nothing is hidden before God. She was my wife's best friend, but nobody knew that she could be this heartless. I thank God that things are turning out this way now. You know, Dr. Kennedy, sometimes situations will occur that will make you understand that some of the people you hold in high esteem are actually not yes. what they appear to be in real life. I am indeed very delighted, but it is very glaring that we have seen it. 
No matter how hard human beings may try, they cannot change the destiny of somebody who God has decided to bless. That is it. That is what she tried, and uh, it didn't work out. God actually has opened another page in Oledo's life, and we can only praise him. On behalf of my family, I want to thank you for this decision you have taken to allow your son marry Oledo. That is not just why I'm excited. I am excited mainly because in your honor, you have promised that you will allow her to continue with her education, to see her emerge as a lawyer in direct fulfillment of what her father wanted her to become before he died, my brother. It's only God that will bless you. You, you may leave. Concerning the, the reason you came, what you want, the pattern of this marriage, the way you want it, I am going to fix it. Okay. Yeah? I am in tears. <laughs> I want to say that I am in tears. Hmm? <laughs> I am very grateful. Uh, grateful. Um, as soon as I get home, I will give you a call. I, I will be expecting that call. Eh? Thank you. Thank you one more time. And uh, extend my warm regards to your son. <laughs> oh, I will do that. Thank you. Just Hmm. Mom, hmm? are you even anything about Oledo? Hmm. I'm sure she must be back home by now. Else that um, Ichi Omen Kafulananga would have been here looking for her. <laughs> you have a perfect understanding about these people. <laughs> mother. What happened? No. No, no, no. It can't be true. How? When? I mean, where did it happen? Oh, my God. Listen, Anna. You, you know what? I'm in total shock. I'll, I'll call you back. Mom, what is it? Why are you crying? Your brother Melvin has been shot. How is that possible? Why would they shoot my brother? He teamed up with Amber Bazen. They had a shootout with the police. Oh, he got shot in the process. What? Oh my God. How could Melvin do such a thing? Why would he team up with Amber Bazen? Do you even know whether he's still alive? Even if he's still alive. He's already doomed. There's no way you would have a shootout with the police that they would not be after you for the rest of your life. Mom, can you call them back? Can we go back there and see things for ourselves? Please, get your phone and try and get the next available flight to Budaka. Oh. We need to get there to find out exactly what's going on. No, Let I, me I, get I, my I'll call, the, I'll call this person. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> my husband, is it ever possible marrying off Oledo without from fair? Is it right? Uh, listen, listen, Agnes, there is nothing wrong with the pattern of marriage the man just suggested. I, 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 you should be able to understand why he said that and why he came himself to present what they want. They want a situation where all the will be married and Beatrice will not even get to know that something happened. And I think I understand that. What we are going to do is um, I will give, give them all the requirements and if they are able to provide them, I will brief all the people that are supposed to be briefed. After that, Oledo will be declared wife to his son. And uh, 
the marriage stands. Nothing changes that. I am thinking you should brief the police. Why? That woman, Beatrice, should be arrested. For the wickedness she melted out on Oledo. My husband, that woman should be made to face the full wrath of the law. <laughs> Vengeance happens to be the only business God reserved for himself. For those of you who read the, the Bible, I think it's even written there when it says, Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. That is the Bible. So why should I why should I join issues with a low life like Beatrice? I, I think the best thing to do is to leave her. Someday she's going to come face to face with the God of vengeance. out for your games and I don't know why you're here and it will be appreciated if you leave immediately Susan why should I give up on the one I love why should I give up on the woman that means the whole world to me I understand you're mad at me trust me I hold it not against you I know I have wronged you Susan I'm sorry I'm not in for this drama. I just want you to leave. Susan, I am not living here without a word of forgiveness from you. Susan, look at you. I'm surprised to see you moving on without me. Susan, you turned your back at me and now look at me, I'm dying slowly. Point of correction of you. I never turned my back against you. You made me look like a fool by sleeping with Pastor Melody. Susan, why are you not listening to me? Why are you not listening to me? I never intend for what happened. Susan, I truly love you. I can lay down my life for you. You mean the entire world to me, Susan. Pastor Melody was the one that seduced me. I'm still shocked that a woman in the class can even do such a thing to me. Just look at the way you're saying it. Like you enjoyed what you did. No remorse at all. Susan, we are discussing this right now and truly is the only thing that could heal this wound. What happened was a mistake. I beg of you, Susan. You're my dream woman. I still can't get over it. Come on, baby. What happened was a mistake. And it only happened once. I promise you it won't happen again. Come Susan, here is us. Let us sort this out ourselves. I love you. to send him abroad to further his education, but he turned the offer down. Now he has brought shame and disgrace upon me and my father. Hmm. But yet why? It is painful how things went this way. Hmm. God knows the best. On behalf of me and the neighbors, I must 
displayed with you to take heart and accept our heartfelt condolences. Mm. And I want you to know that it wouldn't have happened without God permitting it to happen. But, but why would God allow such a tragedy to befall me? I mean, he's my only son. My only son! Madam, do not sound like that. At least your daughter is still here. Take heart. Please, take heart. My only brother. Oh, for Mula, I just woke up. Mom, it's okay. Hey! God knows best. It's okay, Mr. Fuller, you don't cry. It's okay. It's oh. okay. This is the one I like the most. Hmm? Say it. That is the one you can ask them to enlarge for a portrait. Wow. It's beautiful, right? This is beautiful. See? I made a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, he won't ask you why you selected this, and I'm sure you won't have anything to say. Whatever. No big bro. At last you're married. <laughs> I am very happy. Look how you're looking fresh already. Just in how many days. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know how they say when you marry your wife, you just glow with pride. It's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> well, I pray that when it comes to your time, you will find a man of your dream. Right? No. My career is more important than marriage. No, don't give me that look. Just hold on. Look, marriage is not for every woman. I'm serious. Hey, 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 hey. Hold it right there. Let me educate you, darling. I'm listening. Women that never got married up have this deep-rooted regret that stay with them. They appear happy in the open, but deep down, they are very sad. And I would not want my sister to tread in that part. See, I'm staring at you. Are you not the son of your father? I'm not surprised you're beginning to sound like him every new day. <laughs> come on. <laughs> well, coming from you, I'm happy. I like when people say that about me. Hey, people. About this whole thing concerning him, Auntie Beatrice, I'm still confused about it. Who no would believe that she's capable of such evil? I mean, treating that young woman like that. Well, that's human beings for you. They pretend a lot. But as you can see, how God works. She chased her away and then she landed in my bosom. Beautiful. <laughs> in as much as she did everything to separate us forever. But you know, God has his own ways. See, so you know what I like about all of this? Is that you found the one you love and you stayed by her. Look, despite all her odds, you still insisted on the one you love. That I will never forget when that comes. Of course that would never happen to you. No one. No one will force you to marry who you don't want to marry. Right. Of course. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, back to that picture. Okay, so, you're going to call the person you're going to make your friend. Yes, my dear. It is done and dusted. Why are you sounding as if you were expecting something extraordinary? Come on, Olegu, my friend. Don't sound as if you don't understand what I'm saying. You got married to a rich family. Why did you allow them to organize a society marriage for you? My dear Adobe, the simple wedding I did is very okay for me. I'm happily married, and that is what matters most. I'm happy for you too, my friend. I'm indeed happy. <sighs> I'm happy for myself. Not to worry. Very soon, your man will look at you. Emino, Emino. Hey, I saw Ifan three days ago. He's doing well now. Ifan had always been doing well, just family problems here and there. He came to my introduction and I linked him up with my husband. Very soon, they will be in business. I'm happy to hear that. Hey, how is your auntie? Do you hear from her? I mean, do you still see each other? Um, sorry, my husband is here. I'll call you back, okay? Let me attend to him. <laughs> Sweetie. How are you, beautiful? Fine, you're here. Who are you talking to? My friend, Adubi. <laughs> ah. Um, if she's really your friend and you want to help her, 
I'll tell her to send her resume, you know. I have one or two persons I can contact. Let's see how we can help her from there. <laughs> Thanks, baby. But remember what I said. She has just school certificate. I mean, she didn't go to the university. Though she came out with a very good result, but she couldn't further because of funds. Oh, come on, that's, that's not that. I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who need her kind of person, okay? So, I'll make contact. I'm sure, you know, something will come. Just tell her to send her resume, okay? You're just the best. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, um, how about the... I don't know. Why do you trust that only so much? She's my friend and I trust her so much. She is your friend. Yet she got married without telling you. Have I not explained everything to you? She was in hell and God opened a way for her. They needed to get married secretly. No matter what happened, she should have told you. That's if she sees you as a friend. You know what, Ugonne? Oledo is my friend. And no matter what you do, you will never succeed in making me hate her. And you really think she would assist to get a job? Adobe, forget her and plan something else. Listen to me, please. Even before she promised to help me, she is my friend and will always be my friend. I am not interested in your seed of hate. Please. It's only an advice. Take it or leave it. Thank you. I can't believe you're this cheap. How do you mean? Why did you call me cheap? Because you're indeed cheap. The same fool that cheated on you proposed and you are this excited. Come on, Susan, give me a break. What nonsense. Why are you so pathetic? He realized his mistake, came back and apologized. And you listened. Women like you are the reason men take women for granted and trample on their dignity. The animal that already cheated on you will always cheat. You belittled yourself by accepting his engagement ring. Fortunately for me, what I am living is my own life, not yours. And I will live it how it pleases me. I am not God. Someone offended me realized he offended me, came back and apologized and you sit here to tell me I, I shouldn't have forgiven him. Not just for him. For all the men that take women for granted. Should never be forgiven. Never. I wish all women can develop to my level. We need to teach some men a very hard lesson. Are you serious right now? You know me. I am very serious. Very serious. Well, I am different. Any woman with your kind of heart is doomed. And I am praying that you come out of this cage before you're doomed forever. What are you doing? What does Are you working like? out on me? I am even sorry for coming. And you know what? Forget about my marriage ceremony because I won't even invite you. Useless girl. I don't blame you. I heard I remain single and get married to a heat boat. It's not possible. In one very short sentence, tell me why you are calling me Professor Akbam. Well, I'm happy you trust his problem to his roof. But I am the one dealing with him. And trust me, he will remain in that labor market for a long time. Hmm. Professor, why are you asking me his offense? You know what he did. I told him to stop writing about me, but he refused. I have taken care of him my own way. And I don't want to discuss this again. When they come for me, I 
we retaliate as a lioness. Susan, should I tell you the truth? I have never trusted that girl called Vivian. She has never been a good spirited individual. Look, you don't need a friend like her around you. I may have to disagree with you on that. Vivian may appear wicked and weird, but she's a good person. It is not charitable to qualify her as bad spirited. I have never told you this before. But I'm beginning to feel she's the one that set me up with Pastor Melody. Excuse me? Why do you want to blame your stupid act on innocent Vivian with that immoral woman who portrays herself as a pastor? Susan, she has never liked me. And what do you have to do with her like or dislike? You're with me and not her. Listen, Vivian was with Pastor Melody on that very fateful day. I believe she set us up just to ruin our relationship. <laughs> but remember, she was the same person who told you what happened between Pastor Melody and I. Because my best friend caught my boyfriend cheating and told me she's the one behind your stupid act? How wrong? can you say that? What is wrong with you, Suzanne? Can't you read in between the lines? Vivian has proven to you in so many ways that she never liked you. She never wanted us to be together. Okay, can we just forget about her? And concentrate on us. I mean, just us. I like the way you say that. Wow. Us. Yeah. Just us. <laughs> okay, I planned to make your favorite stew today. So I hope you're going to wait and eat. You can say that again. You know how much I love to assist you in the kitchen. <laughs> here for you, baby. Yes. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> I must say this is really nice. Hmm. How come you not cook everything? Thank you. <laughs> Someone is just looking for a way to indirectly insult me. Ah, don't worry. You're going to teach me how to cook, right? It will be my pleasure. <laughs> I'm honored. Well, one thing is for you to be able or to be willing to teach someone. But the most important thing is for our international model to relax in the kitchen to learn. King, stop. What are you trying to insinuate? I, I can't stand the kitchen or what? Just allow the sweet food go down my throat. Can you two stop this? I mean, can we eat in peace? Please. Don't mind us, wifey. This is how we enjoy our meal. Huh? Every day we keep arguing. <laughs> um, but it tastes good actually. I would like to eat ugwa tomorrow. I am sure you would be able to prepare that for me. King, I will start with the things I love. I never told anyone I was going to eat okwa. Thank you. Allow me to enjoy my meal, please. My sister is so loud. Can you not just give me peace in this house? Come on. <laughs> in my innocence, I went to her house to console her over what happened to her son. But she walked me out. And I continue to wonder why you are looking for her, even when she has made it clear that she's no longer interested in your friendship. My dear, leave that woman alone before she gets to know that Ole is married to us. <laughs> you think she's not aware yet? How will she know? Of course, I trust that uh, Ichi Omeka for Naya very much. I know he's not going to tell her anything. Just leave the woman alone to live the kind of life she wants to live that's all it's okay uh, now back to what is very important to our family when are you going to take a stand on our daughter fortunate what kind of stand i mean her modeling rubbish i think it's about time you called her to order um well you will give her the support she needs in whatever career path she has decided to work on. She can become anybody in life, even as a mother. You wouldn't wish it away. I 
has no respect for nobody What you sow you shall reap Just in time, yeah, yeah Remember all the promises you made to the living and the dead. Say your prayer helps a life. Mommy, good evening. What's the matter? Is it nice? Is it right? There is a big problem. What problem? Our company is going down day by day. Our competitors are very much ahead of us. With the way things are going. We might even go bankrupt. In the what? Of your hands. Yeah. Bankrupt? Um, is it that bad? Oh my god. The company my late husband suffered to build. We can't let that happen. We need to do something. It can't happen. We need to do something. Maybe we should go for a meeting. Someone might have an idea. But you can hide, you can hide, no. What about the contract? Mom, you have to forget about the contract. Why? Rumors are everywhere. What rumors? Considering what became of Melvin, we are not eligible for big contracts. So I will be punished because of what Melvin did? He seems to be so. We can do something. We could take a loan or, or, or do something. I mean, Mom, that is not the best option at the moment. Let us try and revive the company first. I'm finished. Get, get me my, my, my laptop, please. that you're already in school. We all believed you were doing great. And we're all praying that God should please bless us just as he has blessed you. Little did we know that we are going through hell. That is the word. I was really in hell. Why didn't you run back to Mudeupa? Your uncle Ichiyo may careful and I may not be rich. But he will surely not treat you like a slave. That option crossed my mind, but um, I remembered my mother's advice not to give up on God. And as you can see, God blessed me. I completely agree with you, my friend. God really showed up in a big way. My dear, God has really been wonderful. If not for his mercy, I wonder where I would have been. Husband and his people are very kind to me, but they are God sent. Are you still saying it? It is written all over you. You're really lucky. Eh? Sorry. Mom, oh. Auntie thought she was frustrating me. She she actually went to lie to her uncle. Yes. She went to lie to him in case anything happens to me. Mm. Uh, that uh, I was following men. Mm. I, 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 that I was even planning on running to Europe for prostitution. That I, I wrote jump and failed. You know, she was saying all sorts of things against me. Imagine, a woman I begged and cried to give me money to register for jump and she refused. I don't know, I don't know, I, don't, I wonder how that woman, that woman is my mother's sister. I'm still wondering. Now, wow. It's possible she still doesn't know you're married though. I don't know. But I know that no one informed her, so it's possible. I'm just praying and hoping that um, one day our path will cross. Huh. My friend, if I were you, 
I will not go close. I will pray never to go close to that one. She has ended. She is demonic, evil. I don't know how best to say this. But it's obvious to everyone that our company is going bankrupt. I called you all for this meeting so we'll find a way to revive the company if you have suggestions. You come up with it so that we can get this company back to what it used to be. Ma, uh, I think we need to bring back this company to its initial status first. Yes. Companies that were looking up to us and willing to do business with us are now refusing our business proposals because everybody thinks our company is sinking. That seems to be what they feel, that we are sinking. But what do you suggest we should do to prevent that from happening? Measure. I think we should merge with another company. That is not possible. How do we merge with anyone? All those companies are not in anywhere near us in class and in corporate status. Mr. Afumoni, with all the respect, that suggestion is completely ruled out. Well, if you ask me, considering the height that this company has gotten to, I think we should go to a bank and ask them for a loan to bail us out of this trouble. What do you think? Ma. Yes. In this era of DVN, mm -hmm. all the banks are connected with each other. We have defaulted in three loans we took already. And the banks are on our necks. I don't think we can find a bank that can bail us out. We cannot sit here and make that conclusion, Mrs. Bonnet. We need to make an effort. This company will die if we do nothing. As we all know, I am a go-getter. I do not shy away from challenges. True. But in this present case, I'm being very practical. Considering our present financial state, we cannot find any bank that can loan us. <sighs> well, that leaves us with just one option. We need to sell something. But, <laughs> question is, what do we sell? So why are you calling my number again? I know you are very angry with me. But that should not make you forget you're my only friend. I'm sorry about the way I spoke to you the other time. I have pondered over it and I know I was wrong. Please forgive me. I have forgotten about everything. Sincerely, I am no more angry with you. Okay, can we see later today? I want to tell you about somebody. About who? My boo. <laughs> Your boo? So you've forgotten about Kingsley? Who is Kingsley? Ah, do I even know if he exists? Please, just hurry up and come see me. Let me give you a gist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, baby, see you when you come. Bye. The way you're sounding, it seems you've fallen for this guy already. <laughs> so, who is he? Sit down, let me just see. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for this one. Oh, his name is Daniel, an international business guy. He's cute. Hmm. I can see. You know what? I'm not going to say anything until I see him. He is so cute. <laughs> he has this sexy presence mm -hmm. that makes you want him more and more. Mm. <laughs> I can see my friend is in love. Mm. Okay. Where is mom? Is she in? Hmm. The poor woman. She's okay. You know, ever since the death of my brother, she has not been herself. She goes to the church every now and then. I understand. And I know it's not easy. Yes, it's not. Anyway, mm. how are you preparing? Well, we are not in a hurry. 
we will get married when God approves. It will be this year, next year, or in five years from now. Are you serious? Yes. Why wait that long when he has already proposed? Why? His father is the Nigeria ambassador to New Zealand and has insisted that he must be around when his son marries. Mm -hmm. So now you see, we have our time frame. <laughs> All right, dear. What can I offer you? Let me get you something. You know my favorite. Of oh, course. Dr. <laughs> Gil, I'll be right back. <laughs> right. Vivian? Yes, ma'am. I am not comfortable with you dating someone I do not know. Mom, I thought we'd been through this. Daniel is, is so gentle and harmless. He is far better than what you thought Kensley is. You know what? I'm not going to argue with you. I think the best thing to do is you invite him over so I get to meet him. Mom. Is this another way of saying you don't trust me? As in, I don't know a good man when I see one. That's not what I'm saying. You see, I, um, most people appear to be what they are not. Okay? Besides, you're all I have left, so we need to be very careful here. Yeah? No problem, Mom. When you get to meet Daniel, you will know that I have not made a bad choice at okay. all. Enough of your Daniel. Now let's go back to business. Uh, when are we expecting our consignment? Uh, next week. I'm tracking it every day. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, because we need to supply. Yes, we have soon as possible. Hey, sweetie. Hey, baby. Mm -hmm. You know. I do be my friend is still very surprised with what you did for her. I figured out she's your best friend and you would want her to progress, so I had to do what I had to do. Exactly. She's my good friend. In fact, my childhood friend. I want her to be happy. And she has never failed to give a good account of herself. Well, I'm sure she can go back to school now that she works. Moreover, the Lebanese owner of the company called me to tell me of her performance that she's doing really well. So. Um, I'm sure very soon she will be promoted. I'm surprised they are not bothered about certificates. Oh, forget that. Real business people do not bother about certificates. They are more interested in your skill, the truth by your work. That's it. Uh, that reminds me. Mother called and she asked why we haven't visited. And I hope you told her that it is your fault. Fault? Yes. You are always busy. And I know you wouldn't want me to go alone. You want us to go together. Of course I want us to go together. That's the right thing to do. All right. How about this weekend? Promise. Promise. Are you sure? Again sure. this week. <laughs> this weekend. This weekend. Nothing. Yeah, this weekend. Do you know the gravity of these allegations. They are not allegations, ma'am. But statement of fact. I have thought this over and over again before coming here to say it. Your daughter is the problem of the company. And if we must bounce back, she must relinquish her position and allow us to run this company. What and what exactly uh, uh, did my daughter do to warrant her being you know, singled out as the problem of the company. When it comes to spending, she is very extravagant. She's equally very rude to her clients. Most of our clients that bring businesses worth millions of naira have taken their business elsewhere. And those I tried bringing back complain that unless Vivian is out of the picture, that they won't do business with us. With all due respect, ma'am, your daughter is affecting our company. What am I supposed to do? I mean, what should I do?
to be seeing you like this every day. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Your oh, thank you. <clears throat> I am sure no one will ever tell me that I look fresh. <laughs> look at you. Ah, you came with your wife and you went to hide. What were you trying to achieve? Well, I already achieved what I wanted to achieve. You were missing her, weren't you? <laughs> but who misses a workaholic like me? Oh, stop. Stop. <laughs> you don't know how proud of you we are. Really? You are the flag of this family. Uh, <laughs> I love you guys. I love you, Mom. I love you so much, Mom. Oh, oh. Welcome. Please, Thanks. sit. <laughs> My wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to see you children again. It gives me great joy. And very soon, I will not only go to be dining with you too, but with my grandchildren. <laughs> I like the sound of that fowl. I hope both of you are not planning on leaving today. Mother, I'm staying for the weekend. I don't know about this gentleman here who referred to himself as a workaholic. I see you've joined them. Well, <clears throat> I am not a workaholic. I am only following the footsteps of my father. And that's just the truth. <laughs> I still remember vividly how your mother used to complain. So I'm not surprised that your wife is already <laughs> complaining. But let me settle this, my beautiful Orlando. What your husband is doing is the right thing. It is for the good of the family, okay? Exactly. You see, most of these employed doctors will always do something to remind you that you're not committed to business. So one has to be there to see and ensure that things flow right. My wife can stay, but I will not. Sunday evening, I'll come pick her. Mother, when are you visiting us? Um, whenever my husband travels, I'll come and stay with you. You don't expect me to leave him in this big house all by himself. Um, so my wife should leave me and come stay with you, mother. <laughs> Son, don't get interested. Hmm? I'm sure you know what my wife is trying to say. Well, Father, I'm equally joking. Of course I know. <laughs> you almost got us there. I know. <laughs> Um, mom, this is Daniel. Daniel, that's just my mom. My Daniel. Oh, Daniel. Good afternoon, Mom. Good afternoon. You're welcome. Thank you. I've actually heard so much about you. Oh. You know, uh, the first time she spoke about you, I, I was a bit uncomfortable, considering the fact that there are a lot of men out there who are ready to milk women. I have a different perspective of you. Thank you. Mom, yes, guess what? what? Voila! <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Oh. oh, this is beautiful! I can't believe this. Mom, Daniel proposed to me today and I said, yeah! <laughs> oh. Oh, that is cute, Daniel. Yeah. Oh, wow. The way I see both of you, you'll make a perfect couple. You see, I love Vivian so much with my whole heart. Oh, yeah. I have that bit. <laughs> oh, That's good to hear. Mama. But, a word of advice. Vivian is very stubborn. Mama! So, will you stop? He knows me and he loves me like that. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. That's good. But, you know, anytime you have any issues in your marriage, please reach out to me. I'll always be there to help you solve your problems, okay? <laughs> Mommy, I, I'm a man who tolerates a lot. I'm sure we won't have problems. Trust me. That's good to hear. <laughs> this is a man talking. <laughs> Babes, Mom. you go and get food ready. Okay, I've mom. already prepared your favorite. No problem, Mom. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I'm coming. <laughs> All right. So, uh, uh, Daniel, what do you do for a living? 
Fortunate is insisting on becoming an international model. And her father seems to be supporting her. Does it mean that you don't support her? Support what? Huh? How can I support what I don't understand? I don't even know where she's headed. Do you know that at her age, she does not know how to cook? <laughs> Mother, that was before. Not anymore. <laughs> how do you mean? Well, fortunate can now cook. She cooks very well now. How? I mean, she asked you to teach her how to cook. Or she started learning on her own. Well, she asked me to teach her how to cook. I started teaching mm. her, and fortunate is a fast learner. What am I saying? She's the one that prepared the bitter leaf soup in her freezer. Fortunate? Yes. <laughs> a very delicious one at that. Ah, thank you, my daughter. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey. <laughs> <sighs> oh, she cooks everything and anything. She's still learning. <laughs> Thank you. So, Mom, mm -hmm. what do you think about Daniel? Well, Daniel seems a nice guy, and uh, you both make a great pair. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, how soon is the wedding? We're going to see his parents. It's after that we'll start planning the wedding. Where is he from? He's from Umwezu in Enugupu. Oh, Enugupu, quite close to Nemo. Yes. I have a lot of friends from there. Great town, I must say. Oh, thank God you know the place. <laughs> so I keep saying, how long are we going to wait? Hmm. Eh, very soon. From the way he's, he's talking. Okay, very soon. because I need to inform your relatives. Because they have to be part of it. Even though they like to eat where they did not so. Hmm. Mm. If I have my way, I will not even allow them to participate. You can't have your way. They're your father's relatives, and they're the ones to give you out. Mm -hmm. I can't do that. Tradition doesn't permit a woman to give out a child. Whatever, Mom. <laughs> so, I can't wait for that day to come. I'm so excited. I can see that. You're so happy. <laughs> yes, I'm in love with him. <laughs> <laughs> Love one tin tea. I'm in love with him. <laughs> Going. Somehow boring, but thank God you're here now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm. I have something for you. Really? What could that be? Just close your eyes. Mm. Make sure you're not puking. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes are closed. I know, just keep it closed. I'm coming. Okay, 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 okay. My eyes are closed. <laughs> Okay. Can I look? You can now open. Voila! <laughs> <laughs> um, I know what is in there. How? In my dream. I saw it in my dream. You walked in with this kind of envelope. I was sitting just like this. And you handed this to me. I open it and you are pregnant. Wow! That is one hell of accurate dream. <gasps> you see? You see the baby that our heart beats as one. Baby, I love you so much. <laughs> Sit here. No. You see? Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry yourself, okay? Um, it's not as if I'm worried. But my mom is not aware of it. 
And I would like us to hasten up with the wedding plans. You know? Mm. You know something? What? We will go see my family. After that, we will start up with the arrangement. Well, when are we going to see your family? It is wicked. <laughs> Great darling, yeah, I can't yeah, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't wait to be called Mrs. Daniels. <laughs> you can say that again, you know. Yes. You're so beautiful, you know that? Thank you. All right, and this calls for celebration, baby. Wait. Let me go fresh it up. So I'll take you out. Ah! Yeah, boogie boogie tonight. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, All right, yeah, hurry up. All right. Wait, wait, wait a minute. You mean you're pregnant with the girl you just met? Shh. Nobody must know, please. Uh -uh. <laughs> Good. Wait, wait. I, I just can't believe this. Vivian of all people, madly in love. Hey! <laughs> I still can't believe it. There must be something about this, your almighty Daniel. Hmm. Link. Daniel has brought so much change to my life. Mm. I am as surprised as you are. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Mm. Oh. He's the one. <clears throat> Hello, sweetheart. How are you doing? <laughs> Why is your voice like this? What? You mean you're already at the village? Oh, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Um, just send me the direction. I'm sure I will find my way to that place. Yes, please, my love, take good care of yourself, okay? Always remember that I love you so much. Hi. <laughs> what happened? He just got a call that his mom is seriously ill and uh, demanded his presence in the village. He had to rush down to the village. <laughs> so what are you going to do now? Um, please. I need you to accompany me to go see him. Are you serious? Yes, please. He demanded for my presence and I have already promised him that I'll come and see him. Um, I'll just have to, you know, let my mom know and we'll be on our way. Do you know his village? Um, Omo is a village in Enugoku. I asked him to send a direction. I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. <sighs> Seriously, I am not comfortable with this. Yes. I just think God is still early, you know? Um, is this the place? Yeah, this is um, the Chill Cafos compound. Yeah, you may go in. Okay, um, thank you very much. Yeah, we are thank welcome. you.
Thank you. Please call me. I help you. I don't know who they are, Mama. They are just coming in. Ma, my name is Vivian, and here is Susan, my friend. Is this issue your couple's compound? Yes, it is. I hope there's no problem. No, Ma, not at all. There's no problem. We're here to see Daniel. Daniel? Yes, Ma. Yes, Ma. Which Daniel? Um. Daniel Shibreze Okafo. The only Daniel Chibeze Okafo we have in this house died three months ago. A year after his father's death, my late husband Okafo. What? I, I spoke I spoke with him a few minutes ago. He has been directing us throughout our journey from the capital to this place. This is strange. I think you're in the wrong place. Maybe you should try calling me again. I have been doing that since we arrived, but his number is no longer connecting. Um, we are sorry, Ma. Do you know, sometimes things like this usually happen. Do you have a portrait of this, Daniel? Of course. Would you? Yeah, uh, this Fast. Oh, Mama. Please, can you make a dozen cabinets for them? Let's see the portrait first. There's the Daniel, my son. You wouldn't wish it away. Has no respect for nobody. What you sow, you shall reap. Just in time, yeah. Yeah. I remember all the promises you made to the living and the dead. Said you bring the hopes alive while you're crushing them future. Is it nice? Is it right to say something you don't mean to do? Pretending to be someone you're not. Nobody knows tomorrow. Nobody owns tomorrow. Um, Mr. Fonomi, you sounded quite desperate when you called. What's the problem? There is a problem, ma'am. So what is it? <sighs> the ship sank. What do you mean, the ship sank? That's the call I just got. The ship went under with everything in it. The shipping company called the agent and the agent called me. Oh my God. Why is everything crushing in my hands? With due respect, ma'am, we have to inform the bank on what's going on. Because it is obvious we cannot pay the last loan. How is this possible? How could he have died as he lived as a human? He was buried in his room. I can take you people there if you don't mind. How did he die, Mama? He died from stray bullet in Port Harcourt during an armed robbery attack. But according to what we heard, that there was um, a shootout between the police and some armed robbers. And all this happened the same week he went to resume work. He was employed newly in an oil company after his youth service. Hmm. This is so painful. I'm still finding it hard to believe that I'm pregnant for a ghost. Pregnant? Yes, Mama. I am, I am three, three weeks pregnant for him. I told him and he promised to 
introduced me to his family this weekend so that we can continue with our, our wedding plans. Only for him to call me this morning to say that his mother was ill and that he has traveled to the village and wanted to know if, if I can join him. Now that I'm here, Oh. <laughs> this is what I'm hearing. This is what I'm hearing. She bears them. She bears them one. Mm. Mm. The heartbeat of his mother. Mm. <laughs> that man. Sorry. Sorry. Ah. Oh. Oh. Um. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. With the pictures you have showed me on your phone mm. and all what you have said, I do not doubt you. For the reason all this is happening is what I don't know. This kind of issue we are having at hand now happened 35 years ago. Then I was still very little. A woman had an only son who died mysteriously. Only for a young woman to visit the family with three kids after seven years. When the family found out that the, their son is the father of those three kids, because they were his, his glaring resemblance, his printout, then they all went back to the capital city to look for the young man, but he was nowhere to be found. And the young woman has no choice but to live with the fact that the mother of her two children But one good thing is that they never lacked any good thing. They never lacked. I have heard of a story like this before, but in a different mm. way. Hi. Things are really happening. Oh my God, why is this happening to me? It's okay. To me? It's okay. Me? It's okay. Oh! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Why are all these things happening to us now? The ship carrying my consignment sank. And the shipping company couldn't even retrieve anything. And now this, just as I was thinking of how to approach the bank, this one is happening. Oh God, someone should, should wake me up and tell me it's all a dream. A serious trouble. You know, the problem is that everything seems to be happening so fast. It's just, you know, no breathing space, nothing. So what are we going to do now? Where are you going? Where are you going? Vivian! Vivian! Oh, Susan, please, please, please come. Susan, come back. You sit. I am. Um, I just want to plead with you. Uh, you shouldn't discuss this incident with anybody. Because <laughs> any man out there that hears she had something to do with a ghost would never ask for a hand in marriage. Please. What does she do when she finds out that Vivian is already pregnant for the ghost? Are you not saying anything? Are you going to blow the whistle on your friend? Um, no ma. I can't do something like that. We already agreed no one will hear of this. You wouldn't wish it away. Has no respect for nobody. What you sow you shall reap. Just in time, yeah. Yeah. I remember all the promises you made To the living and the dead 
Said you bring the hopes alive uh, While you're crushing them future Is it nice, is it right uh, To say something you don't mean to do uh, Pretending to be Someone you're not uh. Nobody knows tomorrow Nobody owns tomorrow Nobody has tomorrow In the palm of their hands Yeah No message I say no message No message Knocking around No Madam, you can run, you can run. I say, my guy don't travel. Is it true your guy is a dead man? My guy, a dead man. She can't talk with that one. Ha, madam, no listen to anybody. My guy no die. In fact, he get one letter. He give me, say make I give you anything while I see you. Can I have it? To yourself. I have been looking for you everywhere. Even your mom is so worried. Why are you doing this to yourself? What is this? Hi there. I know you know the truth about me now. I am sorry for this pain I have caused you. I vow on my grief. I will make I'll make it up to you. Please keep the pregnancy. It is going to be a it's going to be a boy. He will console you. He will console my mother. And he will stand in the gap with your love, Daniel. <laughs> My God. What? So he planned all this? 
I am finished. How am I going to escape it? Where, where do I go from here? How do I explain that a ghost fathered my child? Is, is this not the end of the road for me? It's okay. Give gift to me. It's okay. Everything will be fine. Alcohol can never solve your problem. Rather, it compounds problems. Susan, I am tired. I just want to die. I just want to die. No, I am not going to let you die. You know what? I'll come back for this car. But first, I need to take you to the house. I'll take you to my place because mother cannot see you like this. She's my friend. This development has devastated her. I know you're the only one who could advise anyone on this. In this world we are living in, too many of the people you see are not human. Some are ghosts. Many are beasts in human form. That is why we always advise people to make a traditional inquiry of whom they intend to marry. Your pastors can never tell you this thing tell you who is a ghost. You know why? Because some of them go to churches. They even sing as choristers in their churches. It takes a man of Ugili to tell you that somebody is a spirit. But religion has so dealt with our people that they no longer consult Ugili anymore. And day by day, night by night, they continue digging their grave. Ichi Abunye, that is why I brought her here. I know what you stand for. And I know you're the best person who could help us solve her problem. It is not actually a problem. A benevolent spirit has chosen your friend to continue the lineage of his father. It is now left for your friend to choose and make up her mind to assist. How can I give that kind of assistance? Delivering a child of a ghost is not the kind of life I want for myself. No man will want to have anything to do with me when he gets to know that a ghost fathered my child. The life of that young man was cut short by your brother's bullet. What? Yes. Your brother wanted to shoot an officer and shot an innocent man instead. That son of a calf was that innocent man. He wants a representative in this world and that is why his chief granted his wish to you. You will have the baby. Bring up the child. I can see you intend otherwise, but do not attempt any abortion. It will not come out well. I'm sorry, sir. I cannot give birth to a child of a ghost. If this is what your uncle has to offer, I cannot continue to sit here and listen. No, I can't. Are you serious right now? Are you... <sighs> I 
Chia Bunye. Please do not hold this against her. She's my friend. But this is the problem she has with everyone. Don't worry, my dear. That young man has deposited in her a wand of good luck that will even revive her early family business. Ogugwezebe, the goddess of Umwezu, that ever beautiful goddess will bless her if she assists the young man regain his lineage. She will become a wreck if she dares that goddess. Time. Only that should be the one saying longest time. You know, since you sent me this phone, you have managed to call me just once. <laughs> Uncle, I'm sorry about that. I told Mommy fine that I am pregnant. But this first pregnancy is dealing with me. That is all right. That is a wonderful piece of news. Agnes did not tell me anything. And I, indeed, I am so happy that you are already expecting a child. Hey, your mother will be very, very happy in her grave. <laughs> I know. <laughs> good. Oh, good, good. <laughs> I actually called you for something very important. Eh, hey, what is it? Only though, I am thinking that uh, now you are happily married. and even expecting a child. I am thinking that it is time for us to marry a woman for your late father. You know, somebody who can live in your father's compound and um, reproduce children for your father. You know, somebody who can live there as the woman in the house and then ensure that the lineage of your father did not end. How possible is that? Be responsible for her upkeep. Who is going to be impregnating her? Well, regarding her upkeep, you may not bother yourself about that. There will always be a way for us to, for us to keep the woman going. Now, concerning the person who will um, do the other one, she can always uh, make a choice from all the men in our family. You know, she must find somebody who can put her in the family way. The important thing is that she is going to be presented as your father's wife. So all the children she is going to be are your father's children. Don't be so surprised, but what I'm telling you is the tradition of our land as it concerns a man who died without a son. Your father, my brother, was a good man and his lineage should not end just like that. Okay? All right, Uncle. I've heard what you said. I'll think about it and get back to you. Yes, you seriously need to think about it because it is something that we must do. Not just for your father, but for the family. Okay? Waiting for your call. <laughs> Is he indirectly telling me to get a wife for him? Why are you so stubborn? That man you walked out on knows this topic more than anyone else. He doesn't know anything. Now I'm feeling so bad for even telling him. Now he's going to be amongst the people that will use this against me. Ichi Abunye is a man with strong character. He said something after you left and I feel you should reconsider this decision. If whatever he said is aimed at making me keep this pregnancy, then I am not interested. Can you please take me out of this place? You told me your family business is going down. And what has that got to do with this? It has everything to do with it. Let me repeat his exact words. And I quote, That young man has deposited in her the wand of good luck that will help revive the hailing family business. Ogugu Eziebe. 
the goddess of Umuezu. That ever beautiful goddess. We bless her if she help assist the young man keep his lineage. She will become a wreck if she dares the goddess. End of quote. Go back there and tell him he is talking nonsense. I will not deliver a child from a ghost. Never. Take me out of this place now, or else I will call a cop. And I'm serious. Wait a second. Where are you going to? What is wrong with this girl? I tried talking to her, but it is obvious she doesn't want to listen. Susan. The beautiful daughter of my brother. You have done your part as a good friend to that pompous lady. Allow her to face the forces she invited. That is what I want to avoid. She's my only friend. Yes, I will agree with you that she's pompous. But she's a good person. I don't want her to face those forces. They may kill her and I don't want my friend to die. I also do not want anybody to die. But if the person you want to help refuses to help herself, do not make yourself available for her bullet. They will hit her and they will hit her hard. You wouldn't wish it away Has no respect for nobody What you sow you shall reap Just in time, yeah Yeah. I remember all the promises you made To the living and the dead Said you bring the hopes alive While you're crushing them future Is it nice, is it right To say something you don't mean to do Pretending to be someone you're not I... Nobody knows tomorrow, nobody owns tomorrow Nobody has tomorrow in the palm of their hands Yeah. No messes, I say no messes No messes, knocking around We are here, right outside your door. You can run, you can run, but you can hide, you can hide now. You can run, you can run, but you can hide, you can hide now. It's coming for you. We're from the regional headquarters of the investment bank. After your bank turned down our loan application, you still have the guts to show your faces here? Shut up, Vivian. This is not how to handle this matter. We were unable to process your last application because you defaulted on your existing loan. And from this notice that you've just been served, you have just one month to pay up all your accumulated interest on your loan. Please let it be on record that after the expiration of one month, if you fail to pay the accumulated interest, our legal team will take over this property. Oh, please have a wonderful day. Give it up. I know we get a wish Give it up, give it up now, now, now To let the turn back time To turn to walk away Give it up, give it up now, now, now Give it up, give it up now, 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 now. 
give it up now, now, now. It's gone. Yeah. I should love your shit. I should love your shit. Looking around us. I should love your Is this a joke or something? They didn't the insurance company compensate us or what? They did. The compensation was used to settle all the pressing matters. I, I was just hoping that something else will come up before the expiration of the loan, but obviously it did not. What am I going to do? Could he be right or what? Who? What? Can you please repeat yourself? Wait, 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 wait. Did you say you got pregnant for a ghost? I'm sorry, Mom. I decided not to tell you because I know how embarrassing it will look. Oh, my God. Susan is the one that took me to the man. So you decided to abort the child, knowing that it has a link with our business. Well, 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 are you for me or are you against me? Which one is it? It's now that everything is connecting in my head. Oh, please. It made no sense when he spoke. I cannot understand the connection between our business and the ghost. So where's this man? Is he in this town? No, he's not. Suzanne is the one that knows the place. Oh, God. How come I haven't realized that you, Vivian, you're senseless? So you knew the relationship this baby had with reviving my business. You went ahead to terminate it without reference to me. How stupid can you be? Mom, am I actually missing something? We agreed that we are not going to discuss this union with a ghost in our family. I'm aware you ordered Susan not to discuss it. Now, what, what are you doing? I never knew there was a pregnancy. Because if I'd known, we would not be here discussing this. I wouldn't have let you abort it. I wouldn't! Oh! <sighs> If you want to see the man, you have to call Susan. She will take you there. Susan, please, I'd like you to take me to your uncle, Ichi Ebunye, tomorrow. Why, Ma? How, how did you get to find out about my uncle? Well, Vivian has told me everything. How, how come you knew about this and you didn't even bother to tell me? Vivian has refused to do what the man asked her to do. She actually walked out on the man, and I have decided to mind my business. Please. You need to take me the first thing tomorrow morning. I'll come over and pick you so we can head out. It's okay, mother. I'll meet you up early in the morning. Then we can leave from your place. Okay, thank you very much. Please do not fail me, okay? We are sinking. Okay, mother. You wouldn't wish it away. Has no respect for nobody. What you saw, you shall read. Just in time, yeah. So Vivian decided to tell her about the pregnancy. What should I tell my uncle to make him listen to them again? Why you're crushing them future? Is it nice? Is it right? Uh, to say something. The interest payable loan 
is 26 million naira. Where can we get that kind of money from before the end of one month? Nobody owns tomorrow. Nobody has tomorrow in the palm of their hands. Yeah. No. It is clear we are going to lose this house. Where do we go from here? No knocking around. Don't kill me, please. Please, I beg you, don't kill me, please. Please, please have mercy, don't kill me. Please. I bet you killed that innocent child. I beg you to keep a son that would have consoled all of us. That son would have solved the problems in your family right now. What did you do? You killed him. And you have killed the happiness I promised. Please. Please. Is there any way I can solve this problem? My family is sinking. And I know we need help. Please, for all time's sake. Help us. Don't go, please don't go, please don't go, don't go, please, please. Mom, mom, yes, did you see him? He just walked through this, this place. Who? Daniel. What did he say? What, 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 what did he want? He's blaming me for killing the child. He said I killed the happiness he promised me the moment I killed the child. Why didn't you tell me you were pregnant? Eh? Now what do you expect me to do? I will ask Suzanne to take me to her uncle. I will beg him for forgiveness. I will even offer him money to appease him. He is the only one that can solve this problem. I've um, already asked uh, Susan to take me to her uncle tomorrow. I guess we can all go together. Mom. I'm sorry about how everything is turning out. But I believe there will be light at the end of the tunnel. I hope so. I am actually on my way out. Yes, I am I'm attending. But I, I got the money you wired into my account. What is the money for? I hope it will be enough to take care of what you said. I have also discussed with my husband, who has discussed with his father. And uh, they've concluded to get a small business for the woman when you finally marry her. That is great news. <laughs> Wonderful piece of news indeed. The, the money you sent is even more than enough to take care of the marriage. I will start the process immediately and I will keep you posted. That would be awesome. My regards to Auntie Agnes. Of course, I will. I will tell her that you called. And how about the twins? How are they doing? They are fine. They are presently sleeping. Good. Uh, please extend my warm regards to your husband. Okay? He's uh, indeed a worthy in-law to this family and I'm very proud of him. I will. One more thing, Uncle. I'm thinking I'm going to see Auntie Beatrice. Go and see her for what? Why will you think a thing like that? Listen to me, you have already moved on with your life. Forget that woman completely. She doesn't deserve someone like you. I know, but I had a dream. In the dream, my mother told me to forgive her if she comes to apologize. That's it, was it. If she comes to apologize. I think I like that. So you have to wait for her to come and apologize. As long as she has not apologized for the lies she told and the wickedness she unleashed on you, she's never going to get any forgiveness. Just that settles it. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm on my way. We go. Take care, Uncle. Take care of yourself. Bye. 
the one who two bites the fingers that are feeding you. No, ma. You know what? Please. That your witchcraft will not work. Yes. You want to use witchcraft and turn Kingsley away from marrying my daughter. Oh, now you have to leave. What's mm -hmm. Leave my house. Here's hmm. your transport. And have a safe trip. You really touched me where it mattered most. But I forgive you. I still see you as my family. That chapter involving the man of the new group has closed. It is closed and there is nothing anyone can do about it. Another woman has given him the son he was looking for and his spirit has finally gone to rest. You need to help us. My family is already wounded. We are going down. You must find another way to help us out. And that is to tell you the truth. Humble yourself and apologize to the one you killed. She's the only one who can turn things around in the spirit. I've never killed anyone in my life. You killed her zeal. You killed her dream. You killed her ambition. You sent her into the world empty-handed and told deadly lies against her. What you did is one and same as mother, and your destiny is caged around her forgiveness. Apologize to her, and you may find the second chance you seek. From what you have said, you are talking about Oledo. Yes. Is she still alive? She is alive. Mother of twins. Married to a man who loves her for who she is. Unconditionally. Get her pronounced forgiveness on you. And you would have solved your problem. You wouldn't wish it away. Has no respect for nobody. What you sow you shall reap. Just in time, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember all the promises you made To the living and the dead Said you bring the hopes alive While you're crushing them future Is it nice, is it right To say something you don't mean to do Pretending to be Someone you're not Nobody knows tomorrow, nobody owns tomorrow Nobody has tomorrow in the palm of their hands, yeah No messes, I say no messes No messes, knocking around No messes, I say no You can run, you can run, but you can hide, you can hide now. You can run, you can run, but you can hide, you can hide now.
I know you're the one that has risen against me. I also know you're the one that crippled my business. I know and, and, and nothing, and nothing. You liar that had the guts to tell lies to a man like me. Gather yourself and leave this place now before I assemble the use of Omodenkwa to beat you up. What are you doing? I, I, I need to apologize to my sister, please. And please. I am telling you that there is no forgiveness in the grave. If you want to apologize, if you are seeking for forgiveness, that is if you have genuinely repented, you have to apologize to people who are alive. No people who are dead. Please, I, I, I know that if I apologize to her, I know, I know she would do something. She's my sister. Listen to me. Listen to me. If you like, you can beg me with your, your kidneys on a platter. I am not going to listen to you. There is nothing in this world that will ever make me to allow you to continue to desecrate the grave of this woman that my brother married. And my poala. If you fail to leave this place this minute, leave you this woman. You will see the other side of me. See you, Papa. What can I tell you, See you, I already traced Toledo. She's not just the mother of twins, like my uncle said. She's equally a vibrant lawyer who is yet to lose any case. Are you serious? Who is the husband? The same Kingsley, of course. Yes. Your mother sent her packing and they were able to locate themselves. They are happily married. She's not doing badly at all. Hmm. Do you know where they live? Still at the family house down Madabuchi Crescent. How can you ask that? A man like Kingsley can't be living with his wife in a family house. Um, he got the house in um, Husband Estate. Yes, Husband Estate. That's where they live now. I never saw this coming. I know Abunia of Okozu. A strong one of the gods. But I don't believe you that he was the one who asked you to come here. He asked me to come and apologize to my sister, and that is why I'm here. Well, it is possible Abunia told you that, but I'm in a position to confirm to you that he didn't see this one clearly. Oledo was the person you offended, and if you must apologize to anybody, you should be apologizing to her, not to the mother. I, I am not a man of Ugili, understand that. But I know what can possibly come from Ugili. This one is not from Ugili. I don't know where to find her. Well, I am certain you can still find the one you vowed never to allow her marry. He was the one that married her finally. And if you can find him, then you have found her. I mean that stupid boy, bereft of manners, ended up marrying Oledo. Bereft of manners? Well, I don't know what that means. But I'm in the position to tell you again that they have a set of twins as we speak. What? My niece got married and you didn't bother to tell me. Why would you do that? I tell you because you are who? Listen to me, Beatrice. Your welcome has actually expired. Now when you are done ranting, you hit the gates. And let me warn you, in your overall interest, do not ever in your life come back to my brother's compound to practice that witchcraft again. Because if I should catch you in that compound again, even your sheep will be so shocked you are going to handle you. See my position. Are you serious right now? Or you're just pulling my legs? I'm dead serious. <laughs> Why should I do that? I'm telling you the truth. Listen, my dad is back for a month. I want you and I to get this marriage planning thing done once and for all in his presence. Oh, wow! This is like the happiest day of my life. 
You know, I already said I wasn't going to get married this year. Why would you tell him so that? Susan, remember I proposed to you, and I did that from the core part of my heart. <laughs> yes, I know you meant it. But you know your dad's condition, that he must not be absent when it happens. Come on. So that scared me. You don't have to be scared. Dad is here, and he's here all for you. How do you mean? Okay, let me get it straight up with you. He saw your picture, and he was very excited about it. I sent them to you. I sent your picture to him. <laughs> Guess what? Daddy said you're an angel. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I'm not doing this. Right? <laughs> okay. Mm. He wants you and I to get married immediately to mm. avoid some other family from coming from nowhere to take you away from us. <laughs> oh my goodness. It just make me feel so special. You're so special, girl. Oh, Susan, can I ask you a favor? Sure. Can we go see Dad today? Are you kidding me? Is that a question? Of course! Who am I to say no? Wow. <laughs> wow. You know what? Let's just go already. Wow. I can't wait to see the Nigerian ambassador. Oh, like, oh, My yeah. father in law. <laughs> That's okay. Thank you, baby. She is alive. Mother of twins. Married to a man who loves her for who she is. Unconditionally. Get her pronounced forgiveness on you. What are we going to do? to move into a flat and um, give up the space. What are you saying? What are we going to be doing in a flat? That's what we can afford. Or do you want to stay back and get through that? Is that a better option? I have traced where Oledo lives. your pardon. No, no. What did you just say? We need to meet her, like the man said. Maybe she will be the solution to our problem. Are you crazy? Oh, okay. Maybe. Because I ignored all the reports made by almost all the managers in the company that you were the one that ran the company down. Yes, I ignored it. And that is what has given you the guts to talk to me anyhow. Mom, what are you talking about? What? What did I do? When did I insult you? You dare raise your voice. You crippled this company. Yes! With your extravagant way of life and your mundane, stupid, crazy way of running the company. What is wrong with you? You ensured that all those big clients that used to bring millions to us transferred their money to other companies. Are you happy about that now? Please! Oh, please! I will not allow anyone put blame on me. No, I will not! You dare raise your voice at me? Vivian, you dare raise your voice at me? Are you mad? First thing tomorrow morning, I am leaving this useless house of wickedness! If you cannot solve your problem alone, then deal with it, whichever way you see. Vivian. Vivian! Vivian! Oh. I lost my son. I lost my God. And now my only daughter walked out of me.
Somebody had already given you a solution to this problem. Why didn't you do what the, this person said? Well, the said person is, is a heathen, a non-believer. And we are not supposed to mix with ungodly people. Look, you're my pastor. You're the one I should be listening to. You are right. I agree with you. Do not be equally yoked with an unbeliever. The only thing we need to do right now is to pray. Prayer is the key. And we have no other weapon apart from prayer. We just have to pray. There is nothing prayer cannot do. Let us pray. Unbeatable God, we call upon you. We see you do exactly Can we day. stop this madness and face reality? What reality are you talking about? Pastor Henry, you are not guiding my mother right. I have traced where all the leaves. Can't we simply go and apologize to her and end this nonsense? What can prayer do in a situation like this? What? Must I fall out with you before you begin to redefine yourself and stop talking a a any kind of rubbish? Are you crazy or something? Sister Beatrice, please, you have to calm down. No, 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 Pastor. Let me talk to this senseless, useless doctor of mine who liquidated my company and yet has the guts to talk to me anyhow. I did not liquidate the company. You are the one who did. And it's still you that can revive it. Now you get out of this living room. And never you get involved in any of my business. You can as well this own me, but I have made my point. I don't know why she does this thing, time without number. I don't know who has bewitched her. Now she has the guts to talk to me without an iota of respect. Sister Beatrice, we still need to pray. Let us pray and lift this body. Oh God, our Father, we call upon you in times like this. Yes, come in, please. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Sandra. How are you? I'm fine, sir. How can I help you? In the absence of any patient, will you be obliged to see a visitor on a private visit? Sure, why not? Um, sir, this visitor is someone you would like to see in your MD's office. No. Um, should I bring? Yes, whoever, just bring the person here. that I fail to take. I take responsibility for my actions and I have realized that no matter how we try, we can never undo what God has ordained. Please, I need you to forgive me before I go to your wife. Please, forgive me. Fine, can you just stand? You're embarrassing me, right? Can you just stand? Please, stand. I have forgiven you. I have, I have. Thank you. It's an office. Thank you. Thank you. Please sit. I must admit I have heard of your challenges in business. And the regional manager of Development Bank called to tell me that your house was mapped for sale. I discussed with my wife and she cried relentlessly. She said her mother visited her in her dream and asked her to forgive your mother if she comes to apologize. My mother will not apologize. That is the problem between us. We sinned against Olido. 
We owe her an apology. Olido will receive you if you come. She was part of the Nigerian Bar Association delegation that just returned from Canada. As we speak, she's at home, and I'm sure if you come, she would receive you. Thank you so much, sir. You just made my day. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. It's all right. Thank you, Mr. Can you listen to me? You can ask anyone that knows me very well. I'm not a troublemaker. I am a landlady. I own the mall. No doubt about that, but I will not let that get into my head. That mall was a gift from my father-in-law. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. I want all businesses there to be doing well. That's my prayer. That's what I want. Listen, if there's any problem, report to the manager. Yes, I trust his judgment and I, I know that he can solve any problem. Please. I'll call you back for this discussion, please. Yes, who's there? You have to forgive me. You know you're the only sister I have. I, I have no other sister but you. Please. Please have mercy. Please. It's me, oh, it's me, Vivian. Please. Vivian, you don't have to do this. Come here. I should stand up. Thank you. <laughs> I'd rather die than apologize to. The regional manager mentioned it to my husband and he already assured me that he will not allow Auntie Beatrice to be thrown out. He has decided to pay what she owes the bank. Are you serious? Hmm. Now I understand what he was saying. But your mother will have to do what my mother said so that the family will heal. That will not be a problem at all. She will be here right away if I let her know what your husband has done. Kingsley will not only repay the loan, he will get her reestablished. Thank God. According to him, your mother contributed in his upbringing. So he wants to do something good for her. Let me, let me just call her right away. Thank you. Let me call her. She's not picking. She's still not picking. Um, I will just go and inform her. But trust me. She will be here with me today. It's okay. I'll be waiting. I am not desperate about the apology. I'm just trying to obey what my mother told me in the dream. I understand. And I respect you more for that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank your husband for me. Thank you. 
My sister that I never enjoyed. I'm glad I had him. I'm glad too. <laughs> She died the way she did, but I pray that the good Lord will give you the fortitude to bear this painful loss. Thank you, Olido. Thank you for financing the funeral. You have showed me the beauty of a good heart. Please. You are indeed an angel. May God Almighty reward you. Thank you. Vivian, please don't make me cry. It was nothing. It breaks my heart that I didn't do more for Auntie Beatrice. Though she was harsh to me, but she brought me to my destiny. I feel indebted to her. And um, I want you to know that I have refunded every money you owe in the bank. Yes. And this house. This house is yours. Oh, I am sure gradually you will pick up your business again. Thank you. Thank you so much. So much. Oh, so much. Said his child would never amount to anything. Oh yeah, Meji. Oh yeah, Meji. Oh yeah, Meji. Yeah. He said his child would never become anything good. Oh yeah, Meji. Oh yeah, Meji. Oh yeah, Meji. Yeah. 
I'm just a kid.